We're back. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Turn your notifications on. This is a safe place in the comment section. Be respectful. Let's talk. Let's have dialogue. Put it all down below. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Turn your notifications on so you never miss a premiere. If you missed the premiere, you can still drop the chat and see what we were talking about live during the premiere. All right? Turn your notifications on so you don't miss one. Episode 5 of My Pop the Balloon and Find Love is out now. I'm filming Ep 6 this weekend. Check out Ep 5. Ep 5 first link in the description. And pinned in the comments. All right, let's get into it. It's good to be back. I hope y'all are all blessed and all your fingers and toes and hands working. Your bowel movements been smooth. Your gut been been gutting in a positive way. All of that great stuff. Let's get into this freestyle, baby. You know the vibes. Let's go, baby. And shout out to all my members. And shout out to all my members. Real talk, pill talk. Y'all see them on the screen. You want to become a member? Hit the join button. All right, you get early access to videos, you pop off and, and, and pop out way more during the premiere, I respond to all your comments and you giving back to the channel. Love y'all, let's get it. Yeah, Starburst fit, love that. And she got that pink on, and your boy straight, love that. White heels with the pink on, looking like a Starburst, looking like a Starburst, might have them boys bought the burst, woo! Flip that ponytail, R11 brown, yeah. New colors, red riding hood, coming down, yeah. That's a one piece in public. If she gotta use the potty, all that's coming down. Ooh, she looking like a hottie. Love the heels, love the dress, looking like a silk press. I ain't talking about the hair, I'm talking about that whole outfit. Yeah, yeah, she locked up with a strong back. Looking like, yeah, she locked up with a strong back. Reminded me of me. Remind myself of me, all that let me see the spin in the shit for the win. You know your boy gonna sin, but your boy also gonna pray. She got nails on the day, paint on them nails today. She came to not play, get a girl a rose, all black. You know what that mean? Hey, all black, all black, all black, all black, all triple T, double team with the all black, hit this shit. Double team with the all black, hit this shit. Shut up the lace at home. And welcome back to my channel. She ain't had a little lace on. I, I don't know why I said that. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Shout out to everybody. If you sensitive, this ain't the channel for you. We cracking jokes. And if you ain't got the right attitude, why you ain't stay home? I got this shit in a home alone theme. Why you ain't stay home? Link in the description. This is an old ass shirt. I had this shirt. I came out with this shirt like two years ago. But it's for when you go out and party and have a good time. And people just sitting on the couch. Sitting on the couch. You sit your ass on the couch at home. On their phones. Looking all sad and pouty and shit. I ain't getting up busting the mood like we used to. Like we used to dance on the dance floor. We used to sweat. We used to go out fresh. Leave that bit wet. Why you ain't stay home fam? You feel me? Let's go. We into it. Oh, it's your host Arlette, and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And this time around, we've got some beautiful single ladies. Make some noise. We got a two, four. We got a seven piece. This is more like it. When it gets to nine, ten people, it's too many damn people. But I love the build. I love the the the, the gym. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women be like, "Oh, I don't want to be in the gym like this because it's gonna make me look manly." She lifts heavy weights, guys. You feel me? She lists, she's in that bit five times a week, I guarantee. Cardio, everything. Y'all ain't going to get them Dwight Howard shoulders overnight. It's going to take you three, four years at least. So please don't be afraid to get y'all ass in the gym. Get on them weights. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad we're done with the fat tummy T era. Get in the gym on them weights. Please. That's what's going to get you a beep, 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 beep. W. Let me see what them dogs talking about. Okay, them dogs, them lads. You got them, you got to tighten up them straps on there. You're going to roll your ankle, baby. Tighten up them straps on there. And then you should have these heels right here. These them the, these my first homecoming heels. You know what I'm saying? Like these the girl the heels the girls wear at their first homecoming. This got you got that little that infant heel, that baby heel, that toddler heel. This the little doll baby shoe when when you got a daughter or something, they four five years old, and they get to buy the little heels from 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 the uh, Target or something, and you walk around with them and, and get fake pocketbooks. Come on now, and I don't know who pants these belong to, but. They need to be uh, somebody in your family. Family was taller to wear them these pants. You look like a Christmas gift. You got this bow. You in all red. You look like Christmas. I love Christmas. Put your favorite Christmas song in the chat in, in the comment section right now. My shit this Christmas by Chris. And this Christmas will be a very special. Put your shit down there. And then the other one is um, 
Michael Jackson them, Jackson Five them, uh, Kiss of Santa Claus. That's my shit right there. Now this right here, I don't know. It look like you, you had some broken bones in here or something. But my favorite outfit is, uh, I like this outfit. It's a little short for this, but I like this outfit. It's giving me party. I like this outfit, and I like this outfit. So if I had to get him an order, y'all put the order off the top three outfits right now in the comments. But I'll in the chat. I'm going to go with number three. Then I'm going to go with number two and one. So three, two, one. Put in order who you rocking with the outfit-wise. Three, two, one. And shout out for her coming back on the other side of town. And she got her nails painted. She got something on them toes and them fingers. I love to see it. You know what I mean? Man, I thought men like natural women. Yeah, so she got paint on her nails. That ain't natural. Y'all know what we mean. Stop acting simple. Stop acting simple. Shit. Hey, ladies. It's so doing it right here, though. <laughs> All right. So we are going to be bringing out some single men one by one. When they come around this corner, if he's your type, you know, he checks all of your check boxes, whatever it is, do this not pop your balloon. <laughs> However, anything he says or, you know, maybe just really not. This is Arlette's favorite wig right here, bro. Arlette, this your go-to. You be hanging this thing on that little, uh, that little white mannequin, just the neck up. The neck up mannequin that be on your grandma and them dresser. You be hanging that thing right on in like that. This your go-to right here. It look good now. This your go-to now. It, whatever it is, go ahead and pop your balloon if you aren't feeling him at all. Okay, are we ready? God! FBI, open up! Damn! Go ahead and pop your balloon if you aren't feeling him at all. Yeah, these, you gotta keep these holes at the house. You gotta keep these at the house, man. There's them Jesus walks. There's them hills, them deacons and the elders be wearing. I'm older deacons, and elders, but they can slide these. Cause these straps right here, this ain't even enough support right here. You know what I mean? This ain't even. This ain't nothing but a little shoestring strap. You feel me? Something really happened. You're cooked. Mhm. Mm you should have just came out, and left them home. I put some chancletas on or something. Mm mm mm. We used to build little ramps like this when we had toy cars when we was little. To take the cars off the ramp. You know what I'm saying? Okay, are we ready? Yes. All right, so let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Who we got coming out? Let me get some new new fellas Hello, out. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's this nigga said the socks got a match. They came out with this devil fit on. What's your name? My name is Troy, and I'm 33 years old with a baby. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Shout out to all the Troys out there, man. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name is Troy, and I'm 33 years old with a baby face. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Troy, what do you do? I'm a family nurse practitioner with over seven years' experience, and that boy put two parts on the side of his head. Fuck, you think you're a Penny Hardaway? Huh? You put two side, two parts in it. What do you think you're Wesley Snipes? I also recently uh, started my own company. Uh, that boy got a credit card bill. <laughs> that boy said, let me break out my debit card. That boy got a debit credit card bill. Uh, Hotline Health is a telemedicine company geared towards uh, men, but I'm qualified to help um, everyone. Okay. And I just uh, love being an entrepreneur and helping the community, and that's what I do. Very nice. That's what's up, though. I like it. Man, I'm so proud of you, man. You hear me? Came back. You said, let me put some paint on the nails for you, boy. You know them white toes get chose. You know that. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, mainly, I love to travel. Uh, mainly, of course, experiences uh, either in the Caribbean or Italy. I just love new experiences. I'm spontaneous. I'm also an adrenaline junkie, so either okay. from hang gliding, uh, scuba diving, river rafting, jet ski. Yeah, let's go, um, Troy. Let's go, Troy. Tell her what you do, cook. Also, like basketball and uh, just eating, you know, nice cuisines. Nice, nice. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, I look for, first and foremost, um, a Christian woman. Okay. Uh, mainly, you know, love God. Okay. Um, another plus is if she does attend church regularly, like I do. Uh, and, and also, Only if she can hold a note. Damn, why you ain't going to church? Alizar? Alize? Why you don't like church? It's all right, man. Damn, it's just Jesus. He everywhere. She does attend church regularly, like I do. Uh, and, and also. She probably got work or something on Sunday. You can go to church Saturday night, Sunday night service. We catch it online or something. We can make it work. Come on now. Just vibe. So if she can hold a note, um, you know, I love to sing. And so maybe do a little duets, you know, would be nice. Okay. And go from there. And mainly someone that has a caring spirit and just a sweet person. 
Got it. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, mainly someone who smokes mm. um, and just not a pleasant attitude and someone who can just be peaceful, but also a lot of men saying somebody that's nice and pleasant. Ladies, it must y'all must be mean as hell. Y'all must be so mean that every guy got to say somebody just with a nice attitude and that's just pleasant. Stop walking around like that. Mean is not. Remember when girls like, oh, you got to be mean, have a stink face. That's sexy. I seen a woman like that. Why you ain't come up and say nothing to me? I know you see me looking at me, looking at you. Yeah, but you were mean mugging me. You scared me. You made me afraid. I had a look at me, uh, not pay me no attention, be mean and be stank to everybody. I was on vacation. I distanced myself away from her. We on we on on, on like the little uh, booze cruise boat. You know what I mean? Vibing. Oh, shit. We on the booze. I'm going to just say it. Fuck. I don't care. We grown. I'm on, they on the booze crew boat vibing. The people on the crew, on the on the boat, on one of the excursions, they break out whipped cream. Girl come up to me with the whipped cream, put the whipped cream on one part of her body, and say, what you going to do? I said, hey, I'm going to go get that whipped cream. I got the whipped cream. Mean girl come out of the blue five minutes later. Oh, so that's what you like? That's what you into? Ma'am, you been mean to everybody. You been stink to everybody. At least come over here with some whipped cream in your hand. Like, don't do that. Like, but I'm not, nobody attracted somebody to stink and stand off and look unapproachable. Like, oh, just say you scared, just say you are. But listen, I'm, I'm all about pleasantries, especially if I'm on vacation, especially if I dressed up to go out that night. I don't wanna deal with nobody got to break up a, a wall of your, a, a meanness wall, a 12 foot wall of meanness. <laughs> have fun with that, have fun with yourself. So loves to try new things and just have fun. Okay. All right. Well, we did get uh, two pop balloons. Mm -hmm. Let's head on over there and see why they ended up popping. All right. Definitely. Right. Right. Right okay. If we can have your name and age. Hi, baby face. My name is <laughs> Layla Elise. I'm 29. Okay. And Layla Elise, what do you do? I am a real Real quick. I'm not pulling up Instagrams no more. Um, I like cracking jokes. I like going at the guys, the girls. Or let myself having fun. I like telling stories. I like, to, but I feel like me pulling up the IGs. I might look it up on my phone, but I ain't gonna pull up and show y'all no more. Um, I just don't want to pull the, pull the IGs up. They got other family members and other shit up there. You know what I mean? They signed up to come on the show. They family members that's on the IG or whatever they got going on. They tag images. Um, did not. So I'm a. I'm a. I ain't gonna push the envelope like that. State investor, and I also just got into project management. Awesome. Nice. Okay. So why did you end up popping your balloon? So I really love your demeanor. Okay, thank um, you. Very calm, very welcoming. I feel very comfortable. Oh, I thought she was going to say that demur shit. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Appreciate it. Unfortunately, we just don't align in terms of, like, the church, okay. you know? That's fair. Um, I am an adrenaline junkie, too. Okay. But, yeah, the church, that's a big thing we wouldn't align on. I think that's very foundational. It's very important. Yes, yes. is picking, though. Um, I ain't going to hold y'all. And job. then, yeah. All right. I mm -hmm. respect that, definitely. Now, is uh, Layla Lee someone that's your type? Yes, definitely. She's beautiful. I love the color she has, you know, and it compliments her well. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And we did get one more down over here. Okay. Let's head on over there. Okay, let's start with your name and age. Kendra, I'm 29. All right. Nice Kendra, to meet you. what do you do? Nice to meet you too. I work in sports. I am the head of a marketplace for an NIL network. Okay, very nice. Awesome. And now, why did it end up popping your balloon? Just not aligned religiously, but you're dressed so nice, Appreciate so attractive. It. Thank you. Thank All you so much. Right. And now, is Kendra someone that's... I ain't no fucking way, my boy. So nice. I did not know them hoes had hearts on it. You might well put a penny on them hearts. I have a penny loaf of heart. Appreciate so attractive. It. I Thank did you. not Thank know them so hoes had hearts on it. Fam. You really and trying to find love. You should have put a balloon on them hoes. This is diabolical. Where did you find these at, fam? You bought these shits just for this show. Where did you find these shits at? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. That is crazy. Bruh. Is Kendra someone that's your type? Yes, definitely. I like the accessories she has, you know, and I see she has style with the white shoes. So definitely. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Let's head on back. All right. So we do still have quite a few balloons left on Popped. Okay. Go ahead and ask these ladies a question. Just to help you narrow it down. See okay. who's more your type. Definitely. So what would you say is one interesting or unique thing about yourself? Okay, let's start right on over here. We can have your name and age first. Hi, baby. I can't believe them shoes got them hearts on it. How the hell I missed that? Hey face, I'm Serena, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm 29. Okay. And Serena, what do you do? Um, I work a regular nine to five. I drive coach buses, and also I'm a full-time student for pre-nursing. Awesome. There you go. She whipping that bus like that? Full-time student for pre-nursing? Oh, yeah. Definitely, <laughs> nursing connection. Yeah. <laughs> 
Bro, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I'm a sucker for fitness, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Cool. <laughs> that question was, what's something unique about yourself? Correct. Yeah, unique okay. or interesting about yourself? Um, something interesting is that um, I shoot pool and I work out five to six days a week. I so. told y'all, oh my fitness. God. I told y'all. I said, I said she worked out five, five, six times. I said that in the beginning. I, I could tell it. She not skipping no eating healthy. You know what I'm saying? I'm. I can't even get my words out. Uh, uh, I almost said lubricated. Um, <laughs> moisturized. <laughs> Let's go right on over here. Your name and age. Jordan, I'm 27. Jordan. Jordan, what do you do? I'm a therapist and I also own a small business. Great. Jordan. You want to just go ahead and answer his question? Yeah. So, um, aside from being a therapist, I'm really, really into herbalism. Okay. Um, so I'm actually working towards becoming a registered herbalist, and I think that's Great. pretty interesting. Awesome. Good. All right. What's going over here? Your name and age. Hi. My name is Candy, and I'm 29. Hello, Candy. What's Candy, up? what do you do? I am an HR professional, and I am also a travel advisor. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. And if you want to just answer his question. Absolutely. So um, one interesting thing about me is that I love travel as well. Okay. Um, so I think that's one of the things that we could really connect on is just being able to travel. Um, and I truly believe in living life and not just exist, just existing. So Definitely. 100%. I think that's important to really experience life. You got to live life, baby. People say, YOLO, you only live once. Now you live every day. You only die once, fam. Get to it. Yeah. Totally agree. Yeah. <laughs> it's going over here. Your name and age? I'm Tanisha. I'm 29. And Tanisha, what do you do? I'm a real estate agent and a part-time server. Okay. Nice. And then if you want to go ahead and just answer this question. So one interesting thing about me is that I actually like anime. Okay. And, um, and, I'm and also pretty nerdy things. Right. Like... Um, Lord of the Rings as well. <laughs> cool, cool. Everybody likes yeah, she really a nerd. Look at that laugh. Look at Arlette. Both of y'all. Arlette a little nerdy too. I don't know if y'all peep. Arlette a little nerdy too. They like, yeah. <laughs> so that's what I like. Okay, yeah. Arlette nerdy but goofy. Awesome, thank you. Let's go on to our last okay. lady over here. Your name and age. My name is Naya, but I go by Naya Monet. I'm 26 years old. I'm in the beauty and wellness industry. And something interesting about me is I do modeling, acting, and music. Awesome. I love all things beauty. I'm actually getting a degree in that. I love helping people and making them feel beautiful. What the fuck? Maybe it's just an angle, but this. I love all things it beauty. It did not I'm do you justice with this hair. Degree in that. With this low ass. This is this ponytail low. This shit almost on your spine. I love helping people. You got this ponytail starting on your upper back. People making them feel beautiful and understand that. Health and beauty and wellness is a commitment. Self-care is really yes, important. important for sure. I do understand and I love that you like to travel and I like the way that you carry yourself as well. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Right. Let's head on back. Let's head on back. All right. So I am going to now hand you a pic. My bad. I'm on okay. the gram, y'all. It's time to pop these ladies' balloons. So let me... I watch all the clips and now it's my turn. It's your turn, yes, yes it is. Okay, so I am going to have you pop, mm, let's go with one balloon. One balloon? Yes, based off of what all you right. see, what you've heard, whatever it may be. Valentine's Day outfit okay. on. Be dressed like a. Why are you walking like this? Okay, all right. So sorry. Why did we end up popping her balloon? Boy, um, dressed like a red velvet cake. Just, I love her style, you know, the black. Uh, mainly, I think just initially, just the physical attraction. Okay. I knew y'all was going to go to them dogs in these hills. God damn it. <laughs> hey, the cameraman ain't shit! <laughs> you got the toenails chip. You got, you is the out the outgrowth. You know what I mean? You might, if you take vitamins, your toenails grow quick. You might, the, the toenails, you need fillings on all of these. The back bumper, it needs some bumper work. You got to take this to a collision spot. The back bumper on these need work. These them thick backs, too, so it'll help you stand longer. But these joints is cooked. It's not tightened up all the way. Your toe, big toe on the floor touching the ground. The floor is lava. Oh, man, the cameraman ain't do you no justice, man. Damn, they ain't do you no justice with these dogs looking like this. Look at look at uh, 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 look at look at look, look at these dogs. Look at all that dogs. Look at these dogs. 
Ah, look at this strap. This and this suede too. This suede right here. All of this, 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 this. You got to turn these in. You got to drop these holes off and play those closet. Drop these off at a, a Salvation Army, a Goodwill or something. They, they didn't do everything they needed to do. These shoes got some history. You don't want to let them go. You know what I'm saying? Tie a little string around them holes and fling them bitches up and have them hanging around the pile line out front, like in the hood. Like how the PC them Converse hanging. Throw them holes up there, man. Let them thing ride out. These shits probably got a lot of story times in them. Mm. Okay. All right. Fair enough. But yeah, and I love to hear the color, you know, everything. Okay. Ain't no color, fam. She's got red lipstick on. Thank you. <laughs> Let's head on back. <laughs> got some flyaways and shit. This shit, this ain't it, man. This looks crazy. This outfit, I can believe you put these red church socks on. Okay, go ahead and ask our beautiful ladies another question. Okay. If you was to describe yourself slash your personality as an animal, what would it be? Wow. Let's start down there and then move okay. back. <laughs> they thinking. I like that. They uh, taking time. They right, thinking. Let's start with you. I think that I would be a cheetah. Okay. I feel like I am. Now you got to be careful. Police just locked a cheetah up in Miami. I don't know if y'all seen that last Sunday. Police threw him down to the ground and locked the whole cheetah up for nothing. Boy, they detained the cheetah. Majestic and kind of fast Ain't in nobody a way. Safe. All right. And yeah. Okay. Kind of fast in a way. What you mean by that? What you so mean by for that? For me, I would say probably a bird. All right. Um, because I feel Head like down. I have a free spirit. And like I mentioned before, I really like to enjoy life. So I would say a bird. Definitely. Like that answer? Yeah. Over here. I would say a lioness because um, the lions are known to be the king of the jungle. Mm -hmm. But if you know anything about them as creatures, um, the woman. I was ready to say, I'm like, king of the jungle. what the hell happened to the other girl? Arlette blocking her whole other girl out. I'm like, yo, we missing somebody because the top three outfits I liked was right here. Where the other girl at? Jungle. Mm -hmm. But if you know anything about them as creatures, um, the woman um, is actually really the homestead for us. Yes. Get your fine ass so. up. All that silk on. I would say I'm a cat. And <laughs> um, a cat because cats are very independent. Mm -hmm. um, they love to sleep and love to eat. I love sleep and I love eating. And also, um, mm. cats sometimes need their space, but they come. Yeah, that cat shit little. Mm. And they're, they're very affectionate and they Definitely. come up under you. So I'm, I'm come pretty much me. like a cat. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is time to pop another balloon. What you gonna do, boy? Can I answer? Oh yeah. yeah, let's go ahead I'll, and hear yours. Yeah. Arlette, I be telling you, he, now you got him doing. He want to answer himself. Come on, Arlette. It is time to pop another balloon. And I would say, uh, can I answer? Oh too? Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead I'll, and hear yours. Yeah. So I would say that for me, it would be more of like a bear. Um, I am a leader. Um, pretty much, I'm also a nurturer, especially being in the healthcare field and um, also being strong and powerful to even protect the home and my loved ones. Mm. So, yeah. Oh. Damn, he got good answers, y'all. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm cracking jokes, but he got good answers. He sound good. He sounds serious, too. Sound mature. Okay, nice. I love that. All right, so off of these... I wouldn't let my dog walk out with them socks. Hey, hey, take them, take them for the socks off. Just show your ankles. Don't wear them socks out there. Responses you've heard. Let's go ahead and pop one of this. I got licorice socks on. Balloons. Just one. Just one. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. Why did we end up popping hers? I think I love all the responses so far. Definitely. I think the compatibility, especially with the anime and the things, I think just it wouldn't gel well with me. But, you know, I love your smile. I love the pearls. Um, and yes, I just think off of the vibe. All right. And now, why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? I think that he has a really nice style. Um, his career is really intriguing and I thank would you. love to le learn more about it thank but you. um yeah okay thank you perfect thank you appreciate it okay we do have three ladies left let's have you ask one final question one final question mm -hmm. You're probably like, man I came with two <laughs> can I check my notes real quick you have notes yeah. oh y'all he I'm came ready. ready okay <laughs> that boy got that fat ass android that big ass Cadillac droid Let's check those notes. Yeah, see? He said, I'm finding, I'm finding my match today. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. 
Okay, two part question. Okay. Um, Man, that'd be right out of the paragraph. But what are some qualities you look for in a partner? And what do you feel are some elements for a successful relationship? Mm. Great question. Great question. He had to go into that fat ass notepad Android, that big ass composition droid, and see that bit. He had to go into that big ass Android. That bit, that bit pulled that Android out of the pocket like this. <laughs> that big ass boombox. Okay, let's start on over here. Um, some qualities I would look for in a partner is a man that's considerate, number one. Um, a man who has some sort of relationship with a woman figure in his life. Okay. Um, that, that shows me that, you know, you understand women and sure femininity. Um, somebody who is loving, who loves affection, a leader. Mm -hmm. um, a man with a plan. I love intentional man. Mm -hmm. and, um, and the second part was... Qualities of a partner? Important things for a relationship. Correct. Yeah. Um, communication, but comprehension along with communication, because you can have great communication within a relationship all day. True. But it's about do you understand me when I'm talking, or do I understand you when you're talking? If it's something that bothers you, can I bring that to you, or can you bring it to me yes. and without um, arguing? And not every disagreement is an argument, so True. we're able to disagree with each other. Agree to disagree. Yeah. I like that. All right, let's hear from you. Okay, um, so I look for emotional intelligence okay. in a man, and I know that's a very common phrase, um, and I think it's misused a little bit. Obviously, it's about understanding your partner, but I also think a component that a lot of people miss is understanding your own emotions mm -hmm. and being able to articulate those and control them. Um, so emotional intelligence on both of those levels. Yes. Um, I also look for a man whose manhood is not grounded in anything external. Right. Okay. I want um, a man who is confident in his manhood and who he is, yes. regardless of me or anybody else. Um, and then I think to answer your second question, what's important to me in a relationship is obviously communication mm -hmm. um, both ways um, and also uh, the ability to, again, communicate how you're feeling in a productive way. Yes. Um, and then secondly, um, and an ambitious man, mm. right? Um, who's not intimidated by an ambitious woman. A lot. Of, I'm a traditional woman, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? And I find that a lot of traditional men, although I am looking for a traditional man, they often are intimidated by an ambitious woman. So yes, got it. All right, and our last girl here. Yes. Um, so some of the things that I look for in a man is definitely compatibility. Um, I want to be able to have a friend, uh, first and foremost, in a relationship. So definitely compatibility. Um, yeah. I also look for um, qualities, someone who has a relationship with God. So you mentioned being mm -hmm. in church and those types definitely. of things. I do a lot of uh, mentoring and tutoring of children. Um, okay. And I also am very active in the, in the church community as well. Um, and then also emotional intelligence. So one that has already been mentioned, um, but for me that's really huge because I want um, someone who is able to understand my emotions as a woman, understand my emotions as your partner, Yes. Um, but also understand your own emotions and how to regulate those in conversations or conflict and things like that. Um, so in a relationship, I think um, the biggest thing is uh, definitely emotional intelligence and communication. So again, okay. um, comprehending is one thing and being able to communicate is another. True. So it's, you know, both go hand in hand yeah. for me. Yeah. Definitely. That's what's Ooh, up. Those are good responses. They are. They are. <laughs> they came with the heat. They came yes, with the they heat. did. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you do have to pop one of their balloons, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, why did we end up popping her balloon? So, for starters, I love the color, I love Thank the you. dress. Thank you. Um, mainly just out of the three remaining, I just feel like I'm more gravitating to them too. Okay. Um, but I do love the eye contact you gave when you're answering questions and things like yeah. that. All of those small key <laughs> things I pay attention to. Right. Okay. And now, why did you have your balloon and pop for him? He's a very handsome guy, carries okay. himself well, and he speaks really well as well. So, Appreciate it. And I love the outfit I, I love for my man thank to have you, you know you. some nice and you know classic yeah. on so i appreciate it yeah okay all right our two remaining ladies any questions y'all right, country as hell out there man it's official y'all ladies in the, in the comments in the chat from one to ten what y'all grade man get it get an outfit a letter grade 
I'm gonna try to put it up there in the uh, in the polls. You know what I'm saying? If I'm paying the good enough attention. It's for our guy. Okay, let's start right over here. I actually wanted to ask you to define in your own terms what it means to. Got some big ass hands. You must do a lot of shrugs. She got strong. She got strong shoulders. I would. Uh, most time, I tell y'all to drop them shoulders. If y'all watching this right now, go ahead and drop, drop them shoulders at the house. You feel me? But she's like she's strong up here too. So she in the gym with it too. But these hands, these some big ass hands. Yeah. Be a man, but since you already mentioned your religion, what does it mean to be a God-led man? God-led man, definitely. Um, so for starters, without Christ, you know where would we be? And so mainly for me, growing up in the church, but as well as. I've seen how God's hand has moved and blessed me along different trials that I've been through. And so, one, uh, using him as the leader in everything that I do, in decisions that I make and maybe trips I want to go on or uh, business ventures. And so with prayer and fasting sometimes, um, that's where I get the guidance. And so I see that is really important, you know. And so, you know, I don't hate on anyone else who likes to do it on their own way, but I know with me, um, God is important. And without Christ in my life, that I wouldn't be the level I am. Thank you. Yeah, mm -hmm. welcome. Any questions here? Yes, I have a lot of questions, but <laughs> okay. um, what do you like to do for fun? So, like I mentioned, you know, adrenaline, but so on a simple level, things of singing, doing a karaoke, um, sometimes playing board games, uh, going to like a, participating in a dance class, say like a Zumba or a hip hop class. Mm -hmm. And so I'm definitely loving to switch things up. And so I don't like just a boring, stagnant life. And you know, there's beauty in all things. And so, yeah, that was, those are a few things to list. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Do you Zumba go class. out at all or anything like that as far as like a social life in that regard? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. You know, a few of my family and friends label me as a social butterfly. Okay. And so, yes, I am more outside than not. Um, there's rarely a day when I'm in 24 hours. Like I just, it, yeah, that's not me. And so okay. I'm all for the social events and sometimes even planning things mm -hmm. outside or even church related too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. She said, I like to be outside. Ooh, I need somebody to like to be outside. <laughs> All right. It is time to pop one of their balloons. Ooh. Who are we going to pop? Can I ask you one last question? Damn, Arlette. Just on. She looking at BM. BM like this. Hey, wrap this shit up. She look, watch how she looked over at BM. Watch this. Who are we going to pop? Can I ask one last question? <laughs> BM like this. He can get one more. Just on where they live, that's all. Okay, let's do that. That's, that's, a, that's a simple enough one. All right, where do you live? I'm actually nomadic, so I, like I said, I'm a therapist, but I work fully remote. Okay. So I travel wherever. Where I you can. live at, man? Where your house at? You homeless? I'm not living. I'm currently staying in Texas. Thank okay. you. That'll only be for a couple more weeks. Okay. Okay. Like a little travel nurse. Where do you stay? So I am in North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah, that's why she liked to be outside. She had tattoos and booze and shit. You feel me? She had compound and shit. We had compound Saturday. Only two tables left. Book it now. <laughs> she missed them CIAA days. <laughs> I know you do, baby. Charlotte, North Carolina. I've yeah. been there as well, yeah. Okay. Where are you? I'm based out of Phoenix now. Okay. Yeah, yeah Arlette got these boys finding for a long distance relationship. These, these boys trying to love right now. Here now for the past okay. few years. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, with that information. I'm going to let you know right now. Between the two, she seemed like reserved right now, but I could tell she a good time. I like to have fun. Uh, he going to pick her, though, because she, she, can, she moves around more and travels more, and she's closer. Like, Phoenix... And Charlotte, bro, that's two different damn time zones almost. That's two, three hour time difference. You know what I'm saying? Dallas not so bad. That's like an hour, hour and a half, two hours or something. Who we popping? Man, he already know, man. You ain't got that like you thinking and shit. But you better, you, but you better make sure after you pop one of them that the one you didn't pop want to rock with you because you the first guy. They might want to see what else going on back there. One key, one key question. It's, it'll be quick. No, no, it's not actually a question. Well, it's more of a statement. Please. please okay, please. okay, 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 okay. I have. Damn! She ain't want to get chose. I told y'all, she did not want to get chose. My dog up there asking where they live at. He been, he been real. He been uh, 
straight up, I want to really know what's going on, where you at, what we moving with. Now you the only one left. Now you don't even know if you're going to choose you. So you now, should I pop too? Why you pop like that? She want to see what's in the back, baby. Look, yep, doing too much questions. Look at his face. You mother, you mother trucker. All that question shit. That's more of a statement, please. please okay, please. okay, okay. She's done. Okay. <laughs> I have. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's <listen>. Ooh. <laughs> Look at everybody's face. Cook team. Cook team. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. Yeah, you're doing too much, bro. You had the juice. They let you come out in them red velvet socks. Actually, a question. Well, it's more of a statement. Please. please okay, please. okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I have. Ooh. Oh. Okay. I guess. Never mind that. I was just going to say that I have a son. That's all. If it was a deal breaker for anybody. But that's it. Okay. Damn, the nigga kept it a buck, didn't he? He kept it a hundred, a hundred. He kept it a hundred, a hundred. Damn. Okay. Yeah. We do. I'll come back. Actually, no. Let's let's go here first, yeah. then we'll go to her. Yeah. Okay. So why do we end up popping? Um, I... I understand there's a lot of beautiful women up here, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like when you get narrowed down to two, I want an intentional man. I, okay. I want you to be able to choose what, what's best for you. So What you mean? He was about to choose, bro. He just wanted to tell y'all he had a son. Just say you was trying to get up out of there. I want an intentional man. That's fair. Yeah, I was just mentioning that I had a son. That's all. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Okay, so now he did say he has a son. Is that a deal breaker for you? Uh, no. How old is your son? 18 months. God dang it! Boy! Boy! Look at the face. <laughs> 18 months is. Your son is one! <laughs> And I'm ready. Bro, you got to go back home, man. You got to go back home. If that child is under five, that baby mama is still alive. <laughs> Boy, you going to get that thing pop. She going to say, under, uh, under two? I'm not going to be your boo. Stop biting your cheeks. You got in there, you got a warhead in your mouth. You got 28 lemon heads in there. Yeah, that might be uh just kind of okay. young. Yeah, and that's though. fair, and that's why I wanted to mention yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with the kids, but I just I just don't do the baby mama drama, and I ain't saying, oh no, oh no, no, it's no drama. It ain't never no drama. Oh, it's it's no drama. It's no drama. Man, she gonna see your ass. I'm telling y'all, I don't. Y'all think I be doing too much and I be in these people business and all this shit. Every time somebody, no no lie, at least every three episodes, somebody match on here, somebody baby mama or baby daddy on here, and they baby mama and baby daddy. Had crossed the line. They 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 be trying. They be mad. They be on TikTok talking shit. They reach out to me. They send me pictures. Oh, this guy was a stepdad and did it. it and he look at him. He got pictures with my kids. We was just th together the night before. Okay, I just react to the show. A lot of people have reached out to me, and I ain't gonna name drop and say I want to come tell my truth or tell my this and tell me this and expose this. I don't move like that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all put yourself out here on the show like this. So I crack jokes and I comment. Whoop de woo. I shut down the Instagram shit. It's all about this. But it's been other channels and other people might pry in and do the dirt and research. And this person got this. Even the young lady that, that, that got arrested and, and got that, that shit going on. I ain't tap into that. I got reached out to about that. I ain't tap into that. I don't do that. You feel me? So I ain't running no gossip or, oh, I got some tea on such and such. You want some tea? No, thank you, ma'am. I'm good on the tea. No, thank you. I, don't, I ain't no gossip channel. You feel me? I, I react to what these people come on the show and do. All that other shit, I could kiki and jump in the live stream and laugh, but I'm not making no content. I'm not eating off of I'm not TMZ, man. I'm not going I ain't I ain't moving like that. 
I don't know oh, that you have uh, that any of that. I'm I was previously married for 11 years, but yeah, there is okay. no toxicness. Okay. But I just yeah. wanted to mention yeah, that. That's he all. seems really young, though, for the son. So okay. I, 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 I was previously married for 11 years. Oh, he's trying to get back out there for real, for real. Understand. Yeah. No judgment. No, for sure. That's yeah. why I wanted You're to share. Pop. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's Damn. head on back. Yeah, I just want to be honest. Yeah. Oh, we almost had her. Yeah, no, it's cool. I wanted to definitely make sure everyone understood. Right. I mean, I had a little song to sing for my match too as well, but you know, oh. I don't have a song. Oh, so that boy had a song to sing for his match. He's sweet. Damn, maybe next time. We want to hear it. Nah, nah, nah. For, for, save it for your match. Nah, nah, it'll be when Arlette brings me again. When we bring you back. Correct. Okay, okay. For the match. All right, well. We ain't just out here singing for a bunch of people that pop their balloon. Women gonna still make you tap dance after they told you no. Nah, hey, hey, how you doing? I think you're beautiful. Take this rose. Oh, uh, uh, give me this damn rose. But nah, you're not my type. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> that is all the balloons. That's fine. But ladies, let's go ahead and give it up for him. All right, yes, man. Get, get a mic up. Thank get up so out of here. <laughs> lemon pepper, heart steppers. <laughs> damn. Um, okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Hello, my name. My name is Jock. Jock? Jock. Jock. Like French. Okay, okay. <laughs> and how old are you? I am 35, ma'am. 35, and what do you do? I am a cybersecurity engineer. Cybersecurity engineer? What's got that manion? He a little brittle, he a little petite, but he got that good job, good benefits. Okay, now what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, I like uh, hiking. I go to a lot of tropical places, uh, typically. I uh, just came up from Columbia earlier this year. Uh, I like uh, snorkeling, so that's one of one of my favorite things to do. Okay, come uh, on, man, get your ass down there and go scuba diving. Uh, as well, in my free time, I have uh, a lot of friends I like to hang out with. I live in Vegas as well, so oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> I uh, <laughs> I uh, I hang out with them a lot of time. Uh, it's it's a lot of stuff to do in Vegas as well, right. so. Like, uh, that place doing, keeps me preoccupied regardless. Okay, nice. And now, uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Oh, uh, I would like to start my own family, so uh, hopefully she doesn't have any kids. No offense or anything. Okay. Uh, look up, see, bro. Look nice. up. Look at Arlette. Look at the women. Stop looking at the floor. Get your hand out your pocket. And kind. <laughs> uh, she's a she likes catering, right, to a guy that she connects with. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a spark of connection. And uh, most important thing for me, I'm a hard worker, and I want a woman that is also a hard worker, too. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The two most fit people, the two most fit people in the lineup pop on, he wants someone that's a hard worker, too? What's, what happened, guys? Five times a week in the gym. I run 2,000 miles a year. I remember. Y'all don't want to work hard? What happened? Five, seven, five. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are some deal breakers for you? Uh, like I said earlier, if she has any kids, mm -hmm. uh, that's that's the main deal breaker. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. So we did get some pops. Let's go on over there, see why they ended up popping. Yes, ma'am. He said no three kids, three baby daddies. All right. Let's start here with your name and age. Hi, I'm Serena. I'm 29. Hello, Serena. And Serena, why did you end up popping your balloon? You said you wanted a hardworking woman, and I am not a hard worker. I don't want a job, so. Oh wow. <laughs> that's pretty much that. You just want to go to the gym? <laughs> hey, ladies, if he goes 50-50 with you, he's just a roommate. <laughs> you guys aren't in a relationship. If she doesn't want to work at all, <laughs> at all. <laughs> What are, what, are, what are you, just a daughter? What are, what are you, your parents are literally handing me off, handing you off to me? Here, you take care of her now. How are you, how are you working? What are you doing right now? How are you surviving? Who's paying your bills? You, you're not a hard worker at all. You look phenomenal. You work hard in the gym. You don't have anything that you're passionate about career-wise that you want to work hard in. You know? Equality. Equal pay. Equal <laughs> I want this shit equality across the board. Until we got to pay them bills, nigga. <laughs> That's cool. Um, I'm born to be feminine, not hard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can't sit your strong ass up there and say something like that. That don't even match. I'm born to be feminine. I'm born to be feminine, not hard. 
That's like me sitting up here with all these muscles talking about princess treatment only. <laughs> what? <laughs> now, prior to him saying that, it was he someone that is your type? He is someone that's my type. Um, I'm actually not trying to go for my type, but you are someone that I would give a chance to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now, uh, Jock, is she someone that's your type? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And all right, so we did get another pop. Well, two more. That's crazy. I don't know. I guess to even tell somebody that I'm not trying to work, I'm not trying to do nothing, I don't want to work hard at all, and we just met, they don't even care about you or even like you or know you yet, I'm just looking at you like, oh, that bit about to be an extra bill. She's about to be a bill. Uh, at, like, this is not really going to help my life in any way. You know what I'm saying? Because if you got your shit together, he's an engineer. Oh, she can make your house a home. She could clean. Shit. You can hire somebody to clean. I got somebody to come in here every other week and clean. You feel me? Mop, bathrooms, tub, and I still clean on my own, but they come in every other week. I do a deep cleaning in my house twice a year. I can hire somebody, oh, food, you can get somebody to cater, you can do the little meal joint, meal prep, they bring for, you can do all of that. So I'm like, what you going to do besides be strong around the house? All these muscles and you don't want to put in no work. You just, you just swole for nothing. Let's go down over here. You better get you. you we're going to have to open a gym up for you or something. Maybe you could hit a gym, a CrossFit gym, a dojo. or so You're going to do something. Come home, you just sitting around the house and shit. Y'all ain't got no kids yet or nothing. I get to see, okay, down the line, but I just don't want to work. Nah, you got to be passionate about something. I know you like work, working out, but we got to figure out. You better sell some meal plans or, 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 or some workouts or something. We got to do something. Your name and age. Don't I'm Tanisha. I'm 29. Okay. And Tanisha, why did you end up popping your balloon? So I actually live in Scottsdale, and that is a deal breaker for me. So okay. him him being in Vegas was a deal breaker. Okay. Yeah, got it, yeah. got it. But is he someone that is your type? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Nice fit and everything. Thank you. <laughs> and now is she someone that's your type? I'd holler. <laughs> <laughs> I'd holler. He lying. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so that's a yes, no, or like it's a yes. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Let's go on over you here. Being Your nice. name and what age. the hell is a I holla? What do you think this shit is? 98? Hi, my name is Kendra. I'm 29. Okay, and Kendra, Kendra, why did you pop your balloon? For me, it was just the fact that he mentioned he wants a woman to cater, but he also wants like a hard worker. And mm -hmm. for me, it's like if you want, you kind of have to choose a lane. No, you don't, because what the hell. I'm a, I'm a hard worker. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to work hard as hell. And I'm still going to cater to you. Ask you how your day doing. Rub your feet. Rub your shoulders. You need anything. You know what I'm saying? All of that. I'm catering to that. That shit come hand in hand. You can do both. It's like people say, what's your love language? Your love language is really all the love languages. It's just a pie chart. Like, you know what I mean? This is 60%. This is 20. This is 20. Like, you know what I mean? It's broken down like that. So... That don't make no sense. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. <laughs> can you be a hard worker and cater at the... Yeah. I don't see why. You can do some more shit on top of that, too. Where it's like, if you want a woman that's going to be a hardworking professional, I love that and I admire that. But if you want a woman that's going to be at home catering to you, she's not going to be out. Like, only so much time in the day. <laughs> but you look so good, dressed nice, handsome. Thank night. you. Hey, girl, listen. I know you need some compassion and love and care and you and and you need to be told you look beautiful and you need to be you need to feel beautiful. You need me to lay it down on you. You need me to put you to bed. You know what I'm saying? Give you them back rubs, give you them, you them back shots. I know you need all of that. But if you want me to go to work and pay these bills, I ain't gonna be able to do all that shit. Pick one. Now I can I can knock it down every day. Keep the house clean. But I'm going to be a, a, a bum that ain't making no money. Make it make sense. Get out of town, man. Got Get out of Because <laughs> uh, newsflash, you're going to have to be a nurturer, caterer, uh, a hard worker. We ain't even factoring in a child, a great parent. You feel me? A great spouse. You better figure it out. You better figure it out. You're not going to just get one title and ride that shit off into the sunset. Thank you, Thank you very much. And now is she someone that's your type? 
Yes. All right, man. You're saying yes to everybody. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So we do have four balloons left unpopped. Go ahead and ask these remaining ladies a question just to help you. Working hard at the gym, but don't want to work harder. Uh, No profession. First question I have. How are you uh, in moments of anger? Like how how are you when you're mad Like or angry? Okay. Let's start with your name and age and how are you when you're mad? Hi, is it Josh? Jock. Jock. I'm sorry. Hi, Jock. I'm Layla Lees. I'm 29. Um, the question is, how am I when, I when I'm angry? That's actually a great question. I think it's really important. Um, when I'm angry, I like to be very intentional, um, figure out, you know, why I'm angry, what's triggering it, but also stay calm in those moments so that I can work through it. Um, yeah, I think it's really important to stay calm because then in moments of anger, if I'm dealing with another person, um, it also, if I'm calm, is it disarms them so they're not angry and now we have a peaceful kind of situation where we can kind of move through whatever conflict it was. So definitely, definitely just remaining calm. Damn, she got angry thinking about the question down there. You didn't get to answer the question. Okay. All right, let's go on over here. Let's start people. with your name and age and how are you... A- Handle hanger. I'm Jordan. I'm 27, and I am definitely the type of person who I do like space um, when I'm angry. I would say when I was younger, like teenage years, um, I did struggle with handling my anger, and I feel like now, as an adult who's dealt with that, I do like to have space um, so that we can come back and have a productive conversation. Okay. Okay. We'll be back. We'll be back. Let's go on down over here. All right, name and age, and how do you handle anger? My name is Naya, but I go by Naya Monet, and how I, angle, how I handle anger is I like to allow myself to feel all my emotions and then revisit the situation and, you know what I mean, what's going on. And then I like to talk to the person if I'm angry at them and get down to the bottom of it and then go from there. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's go to our lady who ended up hopping her balloon. Your name and age. Hi, my name is Candy, and I'm 29. And Candy, why did you pop your balloon? Um, So originally, I was definitely trying to give it some time to just maybe hear a little bit more. Um, I love your career choice. Um, I'm an HR professional certified Mm -hmm. in the field, so I admire a man who has a professional job. Um, But I think initially, just after I kind of thought about it, um, personality-wise, I feel like you might be a little too timid. Um, So I'm just unsure that our personalities would match. You do seem shy, but it might be the show. It's a lot. I would disagree if you get to know me, but that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so you're not really a timid person? I am not. (laughs) (laughs) Uh. Okay. So now it's it's, just, he does seem timid though, but it's just hard to judge that. Like this man coming around the corner with three cameras on him, all the lights on, it's six, seven women up there, eight including Arlette. He's given a microphone, introduce yourself. Tell us what you do. At any given moment, somebody can pop, pop, pop. So you you like on edge. It's a lot for vice versa. At least the, like the people in the lineup, they are already out there, and it's it's a sisterhood. You know what I mean? Vice versa, it's a brotherhood when the guys are out there. So it just, it's just different. Is uh, Candy someone that's your type? Yeah, I like her. I like I like what she's wearing too. I like red. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Candy. <laughs> All right, so. Hmm. Let me have you ask these ladies another question. All right. Uh, all right. If I was to talk to either of your exes, uh, sorry, I got to bring this up. Uh, how would they like advise me on dating you? Mm. Start here. I knew that was coming. How would your exes advise him on dating you? Okay. Um, I think it would be different depending on who you're talking to because, you know, there's always growth after every relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, And so I can't even say that. So I guess my last relationship, maybe he'll say that. Hmm, that's a really good question. I'm (laughs) pushy, maybe. Nope, little patience, pushy. Yeah, I'll say that. Um, because what I what I what I used to do was 
Accountability. If, I love if it. If I don't like something, then I will continue to bring it up. I would. Right? Instead of having patience and allowing that person to work through it and develop. And so that was something that I really had to learn. Like, you know, giving people grace, um, waiting, and, you know, things like that. So, yeah. That's my answer. That is a difficult question. It's going to make them think about their ex. A lot of people don't want to deal with that shit or bring that shit up. But, you know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's something. You know what I'm saying? That they just want to know that. You know what I mean? It showed she took accountability. It's showing she's trying to grow and, and she's not the same person she once was. Some shit an uh, ex might say about me. Uh, stubborn. Um, over the top. Laugh. Always got to be the center of attention. This is the same shit that most most people end up like initially liking about me. You know what I'm saying? But why come you always got to be the funny person? How come you always got to be this? How come you always got to be that? That's that. You know what I'm saying? I'm also, I like to talk right now. Some people are like, oh, I like to feel all my emotions. I like to, to the, what's up? Something bothering you? Let's talk about it. What's going on? What's on your mind? What, what's up? Talk to me. Let's, let's chop it up. Let's, let's, let's get this ball rolling on this communication. Because I don't want a night to go by. We arguing and now we ain't saying good morning in the morning and shit like we normally do. Or I don't want a night go by now we ain't talking to each other before we lay down and go to sleep and some shit. Let's get this conversation out of the way. I am let's do this shit. And, uh, and, and that came from in my adolescence and being young. I used to be timid and like not talk. And so, sometimes people used to kind of walk over me or... I used to let certain shit happen that sh I shouldn't have let happen. So now I'm like, I'm full force on it. I'm, ta I'm tackling everything head on. Like, what's up? Let's talk it up. Let's chop it up. I like face to face. Hey, we need to talk. Okay, I'm going to text you. No, nah, I don't want to text. Okay, I'm going to face on you. No, nah, I want to see you. We're going to talk face to face in person. Because text message, you get time to think, chopping it up with your friends. Girl, he said this and that. No, nah, let's talk adult, adult, person to person. And that's even not even in relationships. That's in relationships. That's in family ordeals, miscommunications. That's in work. You're de dealing with a, a boss or a partnership. No, fam. We got to get this. Let's let's get this face to face conversation rolling. What would your ex say about you? Ah, easy. Uh, the main thing she would say, uh, mainly. <laughs> Sorry, like I, I didn't expect that to be. Yeah, it's a tough question. <laughs> <laughs> you asked uh, you uh, answer ready that answer? shit. Oh, that's easy. All right, I'm ready. All right, bring it. All right, so she would mainly say like uh, I'm a very outspoken person. Uh, I will say what's on my mind. I don't mean any harm at all. I am respectful. Like uh, I get along very well. If you uh, have a mother, like I don't know why, but moms love me. Uh, <laughs> I'm very cool with the dads too. Just saying. And uh, yeah, like um, pretty much you see what you kind of get. Like, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm a hard worker, hard working person. So I want a hard working person too in my life as well. Family oriented. I definitely want a family one day. If uh, What would your ex say about you, man? You getting all over the damn place. Arlette, reel them in. Reel them in, Arlette. Uh, hopefully that's the thing. And uh, yeah, yeah. Like she would definitely say, like I'm already a good guy. Like I don't. I don't think like we ended on bad terms either. We ended on pretty good terms. There's this uh, disagreement as far as like uh, where we were both headed in life. And two, uh, I mean, just extra bonus points on my other exes. I, uh, I lived in other countries, so that's why those ended too. I left the country. So like most of my relationships ended on good terms. Okay. Yeah, so at first I was like a little hesitant because you were only listing positive things. And I'm like, you know, that's kind of, a little interesting, but um, okay, what's next? No, you're good. We're gonna go to the ones that popped. <laughs> All right, why did we end up popping? Um, I so I was question. really trying to hear you out. Uh, when you first, it was like three things. When you first came out, I picked up on kind of what she said, um, being timid, but uh, this is a unnatural environment and I'm nervous myself so I was like, that. you know, maybe in a different setting, you'll present yourself in a different way. Um, but what she also said down there resonated with me as well about the balance between wanting a catering woman versus a hardworking woman. And if we, we got far enough and I got the chance to ask you a question, I actually wanted you to elaborate on that. That was kind of the second thing, but I wanted to hear. Now, Beyonce hardworking and she said, let me cater to you. Huh. And ain't none of y'all working harder than Beyonce. So please stop it. You out more before I made that decision. But the final straw was really... The question, I think um, a better phrase question would have been like, what did you learn from your past relationship? Not how would my ex 
guide you into dating me. I think that's kind of intrusive and also um, counterproductive as well. So respect. <laughs> they say she say that, but women and men, if if y'all met out and one of your ha- ladies, if you meet a guy and one of your homegirls went to high school with him or know something about him, what y'all gonna do? Oh, girl, what you know about him? What does exes look like? Oh, he used to date. Who he used to talk to? You are gonna want to get all the skinny, all the inside information. My homeboy come to me. Yo, I'm talking to this girl. Oh, oh okay, yeah, I know her. She used to talk to my homeboy. What? what oh, okay. What, what's up with her? Let's keep it a buck. That's how it goes. It's the same shit. But the only thing, it it could have been phrased a lot better. But it's just it's the same as the last joints. Why the other people pop? They want to just they want to know if you take an accountability. You know what I'm saying? What's some crazy shit you had going on? A lot of people don't want to voice that. Nobody going to sit up here and say, I used to hit on them. Or I used to curse them out. I spaz out and break stuff. I used to yell. When he make me upset, I just leave the house and get missing. Don't talk for a day or two. I used to cheat on him. I got caught cheating. I go through his, all this stuff. When he left me at his home, I went through his drawers and his cabinets and his, and, and, and his phone and shit. Nobody want to openly say some of the ill shit they used to do. A lot of y'all do some ill shit. I have done some ill stuff. But you're in your head, you're like, and so what? But if it's broadcasted and it put on front street in front of other people, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. <laughs> like, let's keep it, let's keep it a hundred. All right. So now is uh Jordan? This is the name? Yes. Is Jordan someone that's your type? Yes. Thank I like you. what you're wearing too, by the way. Thank you so much. Really Thank nice. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. And then someone else did pop. Oh, okay. Who that? We'll head back. Someone else did pop on that question. I pop. Oh, they chopping it up after that pop. Someone else did pop. Oh, okay. Well, Dang. <laughs> Look how my dog looked in the face. You Thank cook. you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And then someone else did pop. Oh, okay. <laughs> We'll head back. Someone else did pop on that question. I popped my balloon in regards to the X question only because it's kind of hard to decipher because, you know, you get different versions of people and some people are just seasonal. Mm -hmm. So you could ask someone from my past and they could say, oh, this or that. And then you could also have somebody that has a good experience like, oh, she was the one that got away. I mean, I still have them on my phone to this day. Not saying I'm entertaining anything, you know, but you have to see for yourself because if we're on the same exact level, we That sounds good again. You do have to see for yourself. But guess what? When you go get a job or try to get a job, what do they say? Please give me the contact and the information of your previous employers. That's why you want to put in that two-week notice. That's why you want to leave on a good note. So you might be a new person, but guess what they who they gonna call? They're gonna call your old co-workers and see what's up. You play a sport, football. The NFL wants to draft you. Guess who they're going to contact? Your college coach, your high school coach, your high school teachers. they contacting all of these people. I know you've changed. It's been four years. It's been eight years. But guess who they're contacting? they contacting them folks. That's just how it go down. We can come to an understanding and really get to know each other and be intrigued by each other. You can't really base things off of what somebody in the past says. You have to see for yourself. And at the same time, I, I, I like what she said in the beginning because certain people could bring out a different side of you. You could meet someone who brings out the best you. You could meet someone that's toxic as hell and you ain't go, you ain't go high. You went low. You got down and, and got dirty with them. Like, you know what I mean? So different people bring out a different you. I agree with that part. But y'all got to stop saying like, oh, why you want to talk about the past? It matters, bro. It matters. All of this shit is your timeline in life. You feel me? We got the presidential debate going on right now. Y'all love. We, we'll bring up. We'll bring up some shit Trump did and said and and all of this and oh, did you hear? He said. Uh, uh, he said some crazy stuff to these girls. The crazy. We'll bring up the the uh, uh, Kamala. Um, also. As far as being on a red carpet with Montel and all of this shit and she locked up Disney. The past matters, guys. The past matters. You go and you get in trouble at your job, they write you up. That shit on your on your report. 
That's on you. On your file forever. They, 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 you got written up twice. You, this your fourth time being late to work. Yeah, yeah, but that was, I, I, I ain't been late to work in six months, though. Yeah, but prior to that, you like, it matters. Okay, got it. So that's why I bought my balloon. Okay, and then before he asked that you did have your balloon unpopped, why so? I like the way he carries himself, and I also like his career choice. He seems like a sophisticated black man, and I love to see a black man thriving because, you know, everybody's different, and everybody's at a different level of life, okay? Well, you know what I'm saying? But I appreciate that, and I'm proud of you. Keep keep it going. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right, and now is she someone that's your type? Yes. Okay. What? That nigga lying. Look how she looking. Look how she looking. Why? See someone that's your type? <laughs> yes. Okay. Why did, why did you hesitate a little over there? Because <laughs> I'm silly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's goofy. But okay. yeah, yeah, I would, I would talk to her. I would have to get to talk to her, a little, like, deep to know her a little bit more. But I think I would, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, our last hanging balloon did end up popping. Why did we pop? I'm sorry. I, yeah, so I'm giving it a chance. Um, at first, I was a little weary because you did seem way too soft spoken. And like, um, I have a big personality and I feel like I would just, I don't feel like it would mesh. But then when you said you are outgoing, I'm like, okay, he might just be a little, you know, shy in the environment. But like looking, um, looking back at it, I think I just, even in maybe an unnatural environment, I would still want you to show up and be dominant and be, you know what I'm saying, and not feel pressured in a in an unnatural environment. I think I would prefer that. Um, and also, I think that you would probably deserve a woman or want a woman that's probably drooling over you. I think you're attractive, yes, but just a little too slim for me. I like um, maybe like 220 and up. Oh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. God damn, 220 and up. I'm 220. Okay, got it. <laughs> and now is she someone? Listen now. I think you're attractive, yes, but just a little too slim for me. I like um, maybe like 220 and up. Now listen, this is an okay statement by me. I'm totally fine. She knows what she wants, 220 and up. But I'm letting y'all know, if a man got on here and say, I think you're totally attractive, but I like something that's a little slimmer, a little 140 and under, I'm letting y'all know that shit going to look crazy. If he, if a man tells a girl that's that he likes something that's 140 and under and she's 190, 200, you know what I mean, on a, you know what I'm saying, which they have been some like bigger size women on here, it's going to be a problem. She likes something 220 and up. He he might be 155 pounds. He might be 160 at the most. He is very slim. So she's basically telling you, I like something that's 70 pounds more than you. So if a woman got on here that was plus size and, and, and he said, I like something that's 70 pounds less than what you are, it's going to be a problem. I just want to put that out there. And I, but I don't feel like she's not saying anything wrong. If, and I don't think he would say anything wrong if he did say something like that. But it would be a problem for a lot of people on the internet. Oh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. <laughs> and now is she someone that's your type? Yeah, yeah. She's holding on for me. Oh. <laughs> that's fine, though. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Well, unfortunately, that is all of the balloons popped. But we do thank you for coming on. Let's give it up thank for you our all. ladies. Thanks. Thank Thanks you for this Mike. experience. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. That boy back. back! That boy back! Yeah! Ladies, this who y'all wanted. This who y'all want. Ain't nobody picking my dog. He had that bright ass green shirt on last time. This who y'all wanted, ladies. He back. I went to the nigga Instagram. He's singing with his shirt off. He got his pecs out. This what y'all want. Tall with the muscles. I like something that's 220. Here you go. Look at that smile on her face. She's like, yes, Lord. This is what I wanted. Look. Oh, look at her face already. <laughs> she cooked. Yes, sir. This is what you We're want. Look, watch this. Watch this. Watch her face. 
Ooh, she looking him up and down. He already hit the corner. Look at the look at the eyes. Drop down. And, ooh, you, you gotta be able to read it on a woman. Woman can't hide that. If you step in that room, even if she taking, even if she got something going on, even if she ain't available, if you come in that thing looking good, you're gonna be able to read it on them. Look at him. Look, look at that face. Look at that face. Hello, welcome in. She looking like, yeah, you find that. This be the one that want to give you your credit. You know what I'm saying? When you look good, she is, she, they be want to humble your ass. Look, in? mouth opening and shit. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name's Antoine. Antoine, how old are you? And welcome back, boy. Crop top hit ass. And your swole ass back. 35. Okay, and what do you do? I'm a school safety specialist. Um, I do private protection on the side. I'm a restaurant investor. Um, if you're ever in D.C., Horace and Dickies, okay. uh, that's what we uh, invest in, uh, in addition to private protection. Nice, nice. Uh, and now, what are some things you like to do for fun? For me, play basketball, watch basketball, learn about myself. Okay. Um, I love to go to the gym. I love to be home. You know, I'm a homebody, <laughs> for real. I uh -huh. love to travel. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that'd be it. Got it. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Someone who's built off affirmations and self-love. Because I feel like that's a strong woman, you know? Okay. Someone who knows exactly what they want and where they're going. Got it, uh, got it. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers, someone who isn't, who's angry, you know, all the time. Uh, <laughs> Damn, ladies. <laughs> Everybody think y'all angry, ladies. So I'm just telling you, y'all step out, you put a nice outfit on, you go look good just to be angry outside. Who isn't humble, who isn't nice, who isn't kind, um, and who just... I guess don't have no motivation and desire to be better. Okay. You know, <laughs> now listen, I'm telling y'all right now, my the the I don't want to work hard, I don't want to do nothing. That falls into that. You in the gym now, but just to not want to work hard, I don't want to work. Yeah, I'm telling you. Let's see. Okay. Sure. Nice. So we don't have any pop balloons. Yeah. You're doing well, Antoine. <laughs> All right. So for the first round, I am going to have you pop two balloons. Get them out of there. Just off of what you're seeing get so far. Get them out of there. What's not really let me get a two piece. So let me hand you the cake. Sure, yeah. There you go. I'm going to hand it, so I'm going to switch this. Okay. Up. No, you're good. Do whatever you got to do. Go ahead and pop those two, and then okay. I'll ask you why I ended up popping. South Pole. Yeah, okay. Pop one over there. Yeah. Okay, Damn. and then one more. Damn, both of the black joints? Let's start right here. <laughs> we can have your name and age. I'm Tanisha, I'm 29. Okay. And Tanisha, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, I just wanted to hear him out. I yeah, feel right. like he has a great fit, and um, I liked what I heard so far, so yeah. I don't want to just get a man. Now, Antoine, why do we end up popping her balloon? Um, just, you know, just not my type. Okay. Um, big on energy, you know. So for me, I'm a no, you know. That's okay. pretty much it for sure. Okay. Got it. And then we did pop one more. Let's head on over here. Let's start with your name and what age. What about her? It's not her name type. is Nye. Nye, well, leave Nye. that damn weave one more. alone. Let's head on over here. You come over here petting that weave like it's a cat and shit. Let's start with you your name. You could have did that before the camera got on. You watch this. In age. My name is Nye. Well, Naya, but I go by Naya Monet. I'm 26. Okay. And why did you um, have your balloon unpopped? I had it unpopped because I, he's a smooth talker. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you hear of green flags and you also hear red flags. But um, anyways, he's a smooth talker. So I was interested. I hear smooth talker. Y'all said the last dude was too timid. Now y'all got a man coming out here vocalizing, projecting, and now he a smooth talker. What, what the hell is it, man? I'm listening to what I was hearing. Uh -huh. Um, but yeah, them pants are a little too tight to me. Okay. <laughs> okay. And now. Man, hold on. A bit more want a damn a bulge to zoom in. Shit getting a little crazy over here. Come on, camera. <laughs> Why did we end up popping her balloon? Just wasn't my type, you know. Um, I'm okay. not. I'm not here to go viral from disrespecting no female. So, I mean, just not my preference. I'm not yours. Well, I was yours, but my jeans is a little too tight. But that's fine. Feelings. I love that, bro. I love that, bro, because you could have went and 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 went joke for joke, but the man and and that's gonna make you look better for the rest of the woman. I'm not here to go vi to have no viral moment or or disrespect no female. I love that, and she's still about to take another jab. Preference, I'm not yours. Well, I was yours, but my jeans is a little too tight, but that's fine. Feelings mutual, baby. I appreciate. It. <laughs> I appreciate. You have it. a nice smile. Appreciate it. Okay. 
Let's head on back. Being crazy and shit, talking about Gene. Like, trying to be crazy. Trying to go viral. Way to take the high road. He took that Michelle Obama. When they go low, we go high. Okay, so I'm going to have you ask the remaining ladies a question. Ladies, um, how's your mental health? Like, because I feel like you have to be mentally healthy to even start a friendship or relationship or anything like that. Okay. All right. Let's start here. <laughs> Somebody asked how your mental health is and you pop. Just leave the show. <laughs> hey, the ex is that way. <laughs> It's time to go home, bro. How's your mental health? Pop. Well, we know how her, we know that shit's cooked. Her mental health is diabolical. She's going through a lot right now. With your name and age and then answer this question. Hi. Um, first of all, you smell amazing. You're appreciate lighting up the entire room. Appreciate you. Um my mental health. Is your name. He doesn't know your name. Bad nigga, she skipped the name part. Oh, she cooked up, baby. She cooked the, um, our, um, my name, right, right, my name. Hey, um, Arlay, Arlay, what the fuck, what's my name? I, I can't remember my goddamn on name, Arlay. Help. <laughs> Appreciate you. Um, my mental health. Your name, he doesn't know your Ooh, name. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Layla Elise, my mental health is phenomenal. Um, I work on it daily. I'm very big on self-mastery, self-growth. I read a lot. That's literally my world. Um, and so what I realize is that if I don't work on myself and develop myself, I'll continue to be miserable, unhappy, angry, frustrated, you know, being in bad situations. Yeah. So it was really crucial for me to start that journey, and I've been on it for a while. So I think I'm in a phenomenal mental space. I love that. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, let's go over here with your name and age and answer this question. Hey, I'm Serena. I'm 29. And uh, my mental health is really great. Uh, the gym has helped me with a lot of my mental health. Some things I am still working on daily is um, it's just patience. And so I don't tolerate anything that's toxic or negative simply because I'm a calm person. And um, I'm very spiritual. So anything that's too heavy on my soul or spirit, I just get it out of my life. So I'm, I'm, I'm not patient with anybody that's negative but overall my mental health is great it's amazing all right <laughs> name and age and answer to this question i'm jordan i'm 27 and i'm actually a licensed therapist and i don't share that to say that you should assume that my mental health is great because of that but i i think i'm qualified to be able to answer the question and i have good days and bad days you know i've made a career out of pouring into other people's cups and sometimes that leaves yours empty and so i um, am working on being more intentional about that but a great release for me is basketball actually i'm a washed up retired hooper um i love <laughs> I love the game, um, and so that helps me a lot. I'm very Now, listen. She said, oh, bitch, you trying to outdo me. Right now, I think this is his best match right now, just from everything in the lineup. Since he stepped out, she kind of been kind of straight, didn't, hasn't, hasn't cracked a smile since. The basketball thing that they have in common in itself is amazing because it's working out together. They have a common interest, and that's dope. So she not gonna be able. To, they not only gonna be able to hoop together and be on some loving basketball type of shit. Uh, let me let's, let's play one v one for your heart. They also gonna be able to watch the game together and have stories. Conscious of my mental health because of my profession. So. Okay, it's outstanding. Um, I play basketball as well. I don't care y'all feel. I dunk on you though. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I, it's chemistry right there. From that's it right there. It's chemistry. You know what I'm saying? She work out too. But she say, B-ball, I'm a retired, washed up hooper. You feel me? I'm telling you, it's chemistry right there. Position. <laughs> what position? One through four. Yeah. So I do a little everything. Point four. Points. What did you do well? Pass the ball, be a good leader. <laughs> good leader. Um, I was always a leader in everything I've done. So yeah. I was a point guard. Okay. I was more assist than points as well. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm. Next lady, your name and age, mm. and answer this question. Hi, uh, my name is Candy, and I'm 29. 
And I would say my mental health is well. I'm really glad that you brought that up and asked that question. I am an affirmation girly. So I have about 20 affirmations that I go through daily and I, I speak to myself. Um, and I also started a jar um, that I put positive things that have happened to me throughout the year in. And then at the end of the year, I will read it to myself and kind of reflect. So that's one of the things that I would inspire my partner to do um, as far as um, making sure our mental health is good. Mm, yeah. yeah. Stop. Okay, and we did get a pop balloon. Why did, let's start with your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Kendra, I'm 29. I know you're like probably shocked by this. Um, we follow each other on social media. I know you're from a past episode. For me, the pop balloon was not from here. It's from how I perceived after you came off the episode. Social media. I'm trying to tell you. So after you came off the episode, m most of the time the ladies get a lot of followers. But a lot of women went to follow this man. He had his shirt off. He was thirst trapping a bit. He was woo de woo So what? You know what I'm saying? Like, if that's what he want to do, that's what he want to do. Shit. If you got it, flaunt it. Women do it all the time. woo de woo Men men do it. woo de woo Now, what, what comes with this? Women are already used to getting compliments and dudes in their DMs and woo de woo a lot of women aren't used to dating or talking to men that have that same attention or anywhere near close to that attention. So that's the competition level. A lot of people won't feel safe. They're insecure. That's an insecurity on her part. I, I work in a very like um, exposed industry. And so like how my partner represents me is really important. And I want someone that's like the kind of like act like you've been there before. And after you came off your episode, it was like all she about to sabotage him for the rest of the people. So she kind of throwing them under the bus. All thirst traps. Like Told I just you. get the feeling that like you're enjoying the fact that so many women thought you were so attractive because you are. Told you. It's just an insecurity. Who cares? Who cares if, if he's enjoying it? You know what I'm saying? When the when the, when the women get get the following, it's it is it, it, it's always like that. And even from from the from the beginning when the girl with the brown dress was on here, the following went up. People were complimenting her and say, "Girl, you look so good." Woo woo. It always happens for women. Men do not receive a lot of compliments. It it feels great to get complimented, ladies. I know it feels great to get compliments. Some of y'all get so much compliments it gets annoying. Men get one compliment every a month, and we are, wow! I got a compliment today. This is gonna make my week. Men do not get complimented that much. He works hard. He's in the gym. He's fit. He's a tall ass dude. This is what y'all say y'all want. He got the fucking, he got the beard shit y'all like too. So, so that comes with something. So that might be a, a bit, oh, I don't want to deal with that. I want to ask how you've been there before. I want to be like, what? This is what I say when when I when I when women want a tall man that's fit, got abs, got a nice car, a nice house, long ass meat, all of this stuff, but be humble. Don't be online bragging about what you got going on with yourself. Be humble. Humble yourself. No one tells women to be humble. If a man tells you to be humble, guess what woman gonna say? Oh, he trying to dim your light. That is it's, it's crazy how that shit works. You don't have to be humble. You 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 get you get what what you put. Ain't nobody pick you from that show. You single. People made fun of you last that episode. They ain't make fun of you. They were they popped on you and was mad that you ain't had no paint on your fingers and toes. Guess what you got now? Paint on your fingers and toes. So you, why you ain't come on and just be your regular self that you normally doing? Why you came on with your shit painted up? Come on, man. Are you on paper like chef's kiss? But I just need someone who is focused on my admiration and not every woman's. She don't want you. She don't want you walking to the room and everybody ain't looking at her. Everybody gonna be looking at bruh. Everybody ain't gonna be. Everybody ain't gonna be looking at all eyes ain't on me. You really want that pie couple when all eyes on both of y'all for real, for real. Y'all come in and be like, damn, they look good. Look at that couple. They gonna make phenomenal babies. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want. But she not there. This is an insecurity. I don't care what nobody say. Admiration. So. Okay. Uh can I you respond can to definitely that? Definitely, go ahead. Yes. Um, I get how it could be seen. I mean, looks can be deceiving, you know? I just love myself unconditionally. So it may be seem like I'm thirst trapping, but I don't comment on anybody who's 
sending me messages or sending me comments under my pictures. You be pinning those comments, though. Because I think they're funny. At the end of the day. How invested are you on this man's page? He's here in front of your face. You follow him. You're looking in his comments. You're seeing what's pinned. How invested are you on? But you're going to pop. But you're going to pop. You, you follow them. Y'all follow each other. You looking in the comments. You probably liking some of the pics too. You seeing who's pinned. That means you got to go back. That means you got to look. That means you got to do this. You're invested. But you pop your balloon when he's in your face. When he's on your phone, ooh, okay, let me see what his comments are saying. Oh, he's full of himself. I'm not going to unfollow him. I'm going to keep looking at him because I think he looks good and delicious. But when I got him right in front of my face, I fold. I fold. I don't go all in with my chips. I fold. You're not ready, fam. You should have picked the last guy or the guy before that. Go get y'all a regular ass looking dude. Y'all, but y'all don't want that. I want tall. I want muscle. I want this. I want got up. Bye. Here you go. Here you go. Folds. I just don't think. I just don't. I just. You don't want. You don't want the man that everybody else want. But you want the man that everybody else want. Y'all don't know what the hell. You, this is crazy. At the end of the day, if somebody's giving you affirmations, right, and you think they are good affirmations, that's fine. You know, but my social media is for me. And if my partner had an issue with that. We can talk it out. It ain't that deep for me, for real. Um, I, I feel that. like I'm representing myself well because my last name means a lot to me. Uh, it's a legacy to me, you know? So if it, my partner felt like something was wrong with that, I'd definitely take care of that, for sure. <laughs> Basically saying, if, if I got a girl and she don't like what I'm doing, she don't like how I'm moving, I, I, don't, I don't mind changing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm single right now, baby. I'm single. I ain't got shit going on. So... <laughs> You not you 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 popping and you ain't even my lady. You trying to control some shit that you love. <laughs> and this and this is what I was talking about earlier when I say a lot of times in past relationships, what it be is, oh my gosh, I love that you fit. I love that you tall. Uh, I love that you work hard. I love that you're funny. Then it'll switch over. Why do you always got to be so funny in the center of attention? Why do you always have to have your shirt off or your arms out? Like uh. Like, why do, why, why do you spend so much time at the gym? The shit transitions. <laughs> they try to hit you with the humble pie instead of, hey, bring your ass to the gym with me. Hey, let, let, let's get it together. Let me, let, let me help you. What, what, do, what do you love? What, do you, what are you invested in? What do, you, what do you like? What's your craft? Let me help you work harder and elevate that shit. It's different type of people. You don't want nobody. This is, a, this is crazy. I'm, I'm done off this, but go ahead. I respect that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> This could have, I just said I was done. She could have sabotaged the rest of the lineup for him right now. She basically said, oh, you be thirst trapping, you be doing all this, you be doing that. Pop, 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 pop. I was watching one of these from another, uh, somebody else, and, uh, and the girl was like, he's a great guy, but I just wouldn't be comfortable because he does uh, sensual like massages. He does massages and he films the massages. All the girls, pop, 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 pop. If, if he ain't for you, just leave it at that. Why throw that under the bus? And he was like, damn, you ain't had to say all that. She's like, oh, you don't want to promote your business? No, he's not on the show to promote his business. He's on the show to find love, find a connection, find a partner, find a match. Man, he be doing a little, little weak shit. Like, oh, I'm going to throw him under the bus and we're going to humble him today. I'm going to put out there that he's thirst trapping and has a bunch of girls' attention. And then I'm going to give him this smile on the way, on the way out. That shit was corny, man. That shit was whack, bro. Nah, that's like a guy coming out saying, nah, we follow each other on Instagram. She's a real cool person, but she ain't for me. She all butt naked on the internet and keeps shaking ass and she in the nigga section every week. Bop, 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 bop. Why I say that? Why out her? Why I do that? That's corny. That's corny. You had no good intentions by doing that. You could have just popped your balloon and moved on. Now he ain't my type. We follow each other on Instagram already. And I see, come on, bro. All that right. That shit was let's weak. Head back. Okay, so you off thought of those you ate. As you heard, I am gonna have you pop one balloon. One balloon. One balloon. <laughs> okay, so why do we end up popping hers? She has a great energy and aura about her, right? It's just for me. Just I need to feel more, and I felt it. But I just need more for me. You know, you look great. Your response was amazing. Thank you. Top tier for sure. And you yeah. look great. Nice Thank smile. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. She looked yeah. great though. Got it. And so why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? Um, what y'all talking about? 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 Focus. Focus all this side talk. Y'all not in a group meeting. This ain't a group project. You know what I'm saying? If it come down to y'all two balloons, what you gonna do? Y'all chatting it up the whole time. Look at look at the chat. Look at the chat. It's a long conversation. Popping hers. She look at him. She look at him down, boy. You about to eat him. Look at this. Look. Eating him up. Wow. Okay, look. Okay. So why do we end up popping hers? Looking at him, looking at him. But she has a great energy and aura about her, right? It's just for me, just I need to feel more. And I felt it, but I just need more for me. You know, you look great. Your response was amazing. Thank you. Top tier for sure. And you yeah. look great. Nice Thank smile. You. That was a 20 second conversation they just had in the back, a back and forth. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. She looked yeah. great, though. Got it. They back at it again. And so, why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? I hope you pick her, bro. Pick your pick your pick your loving basketball woman and y'all get the hell up out of here. Go shoot some hoops and, and play play some horse or out or something and go vibe out, man. Go get a shake or something. Get up out of here, fam. Y'all can conversate. Y'all y'all spend y'all chop it up. All y'all chop it up at home together. Um, so definitely there's a physical attraction. Um, I like the tattoos. I like that you're tall, little buff. I see you being in the gym. A little bit. Uh, you know. Um, but yeah, I think that um, just kind of hearing him out and his responses and the affirmations was a big thing for me. Um, so yeah, I was just kind of waiting to hear a little bit more. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and ask these ladies another question. Ladies. Um, I think they should ask him a question for real, for real. Are you happy? The reason I ask that is because I feel like before you can make somebody else happy, you have to be happy. This is saying as the mental conversation a little bit. I feel like a lot of people depend on somebody else's happiness to bring them up. And now nah, I'm not here for that. I can add to it. But yeah, I just really need to know. And with that, what is that to you? Okay. Happiness. Start over here. Okay. Okay. Answer this question, please. Can I ask you to specify? I feel like you said, are you happy? Or do you mean that in the general sense? But then yeah. you talked more so in a relationship. Yeah, like, uh, are you... Are you happy being like, are you happy enough to even enter a relationship? What is your, what is happiness to you? Okay. I would say I'm happy, but not content. And I mean that in the general sense, not in a relationship sense. So, um, I like that. I, I, I'm happy with where I am. I'm happy with who I am, but I'm not content. Right. Okay. I think there's always room for growth. You see that always, always room, not complacent, still content, always room for growth. Not to harp on her. I don't want to work hard. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to have somebody take care of me. I'm in. The, I'm in the gym with it. You know what I mean. But now, this is it right here. You know what I'm saying. This is it. When when he came out of first, he had a little stale face. But the basketball joint. This is it. He's a hard worker. He say he wants somebody. Bro, I'm telling you, please pick orange, sure. bro. Okay. For sure. All right. All right. Cool. Let's go over here. Uh, I feel like I'm a very happy person. Um, I'm happy with myself. I love myself a lot. Um, so I actually do like the fact that you love yourself the way that you do because I do want a man that's like that. Um, so I would definitely say I'm, I'm happy with everything where I'm at now. I would say um, something that will make me happier is to become a family woman. So, <laughs> so yeah, Respect. just build my own family or you build our family and I, or I nurture our family. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and then if you want she put that shit out there again. I'm trying to be stay at home with it. Ain't nothing wrong with a stay at home wife, stay at home, all that stuff. That's great. Even building them families, but you gotta have a purpose, bro. Cause even when them kids get in school, what you doing? You you ain't, ain't enough cooking and folding clothes out of there. When them kids, you oh I stayed at home for five years, ten years. Okay, that's cool. When them kids hit middle school, they don't even want to be home. They just coming to you like an ATM. Can I get money for the movies? Can I get money for this? Can I get money for that? Uh, I wanna. Can I go sleep at night at such and such house? Can I go to? This? They don't even want to be home anymore. You know what I mean? You stay at home, mom, and them kids. When it when they get to the point where they don't really want to be around their parents, where you no longer cool, it's gonna circle back around. You're the coolest. You superheroes to these kids. They don't want to be around you. Then if you're a good parent. As they become an adult, they'll want to hang out with you and be around you more. That's that's just the circle of life and how that shit rolls. But just you just staying home, a lot of women, they lose themselves. 
they don't they lose like I don't know what my purpose is. I, I, my whole purpose was the family. Now I'm kind of lost. And then even when you start popping them kids out or whatever happens, you'll you'll, you'll lose your friend group. You know what I'm saying? Because and you already lost some friends because some friends had kids before you. You'll see them now. They just hang around other mothers, have play dates and different shit like that. That's what happens. But you really like who am I if you just put in all uh, all focus on that? You know what I'm saying? Home some home some some women homeschooling them all all this stuff like that. It's important not to lose yourself, fam, and, and and just understand who you still are. You're more uh, than just. I'm, I'm, I'm in this gone. moment. I'm very happy. Generally, I'm a happy person, bubbly, energetic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there are moments where you know I'm not happy. I might feel sadness or, you know, different types of emotions. But the good thing is that I'm able to still be. I'm still able to accept myself and be content in those moments. Okay. Mm -hmm. be I think that's really important because if we aren't always, you know, content in these moments and accepting and appreciating, right? We're always gonna want more. We're always, we're never gonna be satisfied. Sure. So I think it's important to be, you know, satisfied with where you are now, even if that's not where you wanna be. Mm -hmm. Got you, for sure. I know you guys wanna hear from him too, right? Yeah. What about for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> what makes me happy is, you know, being there for everybody else. You know, that right there is why I do it every day. Uh, my grandmother raised me. Um, don't know my father, never seen him before. So seeing other people happy um, and again, seeing my self growth, that makes me happy. You know, so seeing other people win. I don't care if it's a friend, somebody I don't know. If they're doing good, I'm happy. Okay. So, yeah, that's what makes me happy, just being there for others. Got it. Okay, uh, Antoine, who, well, it Who there is. for you, though, my brother? I'm hoping that'll be a lady, like, when you get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's cool to help out other people, seeing other people happy, but you still need somebody there for you. At the end of the day, when you come home, somebody that you know that got your back and that's there for you, that's really important and essential as well. It's time <sighs> to pop a balloon. Which one out of these three beautiful ladies? If I was him, I'm popping the first two and be like, I already know who I want. You know what I'm saying? She already said earlier she got mad when it was down to two and, and dude was still trying to be choosy. Pop, hey, look, and all, no disrespect, I ain't trying to ruin your show. I know your show rules. Pop, pop. I would love for you to be my match. What we doing this evening? Not not what we doing. I would look. Can, can we do something this evening? <laughs> you know, I got some shit lined up. Are you going to pop? <laughs> you guys are making it hard for him. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> All right, you're doing too much. <laughs> okay. I mean, I saw that was really tough, but why did we end up popping hers? <laughs> it was tough. Um, energy, great. You have a great aura about you as well. Thank you. Um, it wasn't no real specific reason. These ladies look at me in my eyes like they trying to take something from me. These two, and that's pretty much what it was. <laughs> But uh, that's that's pretty much what it was. All right. She great though. Yeah. Yeah. She looked great. She looked so great. why did you have your balloon unpop for him? Um, he smelled really good coming out. <laughs> like <laughs> just lit up the room. Um, and you are very handsome, well put together. I love your outfit, even Appreciate though I do it. not prefer my man to wear. Are those jeans considered jeans? Ooh, these are these jeans. Yeah, I wouldn't um, prefer my man to wear it, but I know clothes are changeable yeah. and uh oh, you're 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 left-handed <laughs> sure. so left-handed people sure. are really smart <laughs> for sure <laughs> so, yeah. appreciate it all right cool. let's head on back wait hold on can i ask you a question oh, where go you for from? It, go. i'm from chicago you're from shot yeah okay i ain't changing my swag for nobody though <laughs> <laughs> what that mean i go down because you said I, <laughs> you said because oh, okay. you said um the clothes are you can change that yeah. Well, no, I said clothes are changeable. So, oh. which means you, one day you could wear jeans, another day you could wear slacks, or, oh, gotcha. you know, whatever you oh, prefer. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I just don't prefer a man that wears jeans all the time. Oh, no, I don't wear jeans all the time, but yeah. I appreciate it. Oh, of I course. thought she was saying the jeans is tight. She's talking about jeans in general? Damn. <laughs> wow. All right. Our two <laughs> remaining ladies, any questions for our guy? She said yes. So I'll go to her first. All right. Let's start here. Do you have a relationship with God? Absolutely. Can, can My God is Muslim. My okay. God is Allah. Are you Christian or? I am Christian, but I, I personally believe there's one God and mm -hmm. you know, you can serve him how you choose to. Mm -hmm. uh, but so can you elaborate on your relationship with God? Um, I talk to him every day. Um, it's a build, it's a work in progress, just like everybody. Am I faithful with my prayings and my 
dealings. I can't say I am, but I believe he loves me because how I am every day in everyday life. Um, I give good to people, and uh, that's what he asks, to be a good person, uh, give yourself back to the community, and things like that, for sure. I appreciate your vulnerability, sure. saying where you lack. Sure. Thank you. Any questions here? Yes, can I ask two? <laughs> okay, the first one is, what is something, what's a flaw about you? Maybe something that you feel like you need to work on? It's the same question the guys be asking. Uh, okay, I thought it was a two-part. Uh, <laughs> They're completely different. One okay. at a time, yep. <laughs> um, I would say caring too much, you know, because you can care about a lot of people and uh, forget about yourself because you're pouring in everybody else's cup, even though I love myself mm -hmm. a lot and I pour in myself a lot, but sometimes you can go out your way a lot as well. You what know, does, and that's a flaw. Oh, what does forgetting about yourself look like? Forgetting about myself, uh, putting others first. So basically, I guess you would say... If I'm, if somebody needs me, I'm on call, you know, and I'll forget about this stuff that I have going on. It could be finishing, uh, I guess, talking to family, somebody, like, it, it just depends on what it is, honestly. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't know exactly what that is, but I could forget about myself in many ways. Okay. Yeah. Um, political views, Kamala or Trump? That's I wild. Know. That's wild. That's wild. <laughs> Told you, I'm not with none of that. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not into the politics. Um, I feel like they're gonna choose who they want, and it's not up to us to decide that. Okay. That's a crazy joint. That's one thing I, I do not address. I don't do politics, and I don't really do religion. And I don't mean like Saying, I mean, like just an everyday conversation with a stranger. Because sometimes you meet somebody at the bar and be like, oh, who you voting for? Oh, who you? Somebody already is, their head is already where it wants to be. You're not changing nobody's mind. I don't want to go out somewhere. I don't want to argue. I don't want to go back and forth. I can tell you, this person did this, 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 this. But if that's your person, that's already going to be who you chose. You know what I'm saying? Like 10 or 15% of the people out there on the, on the cusp, on the, they don't know which way they want to go. <laughs> but for the most part, people already know that. I don't want to talk politics. I ain't come out here, come outside to talk government and politics and shit like that with you. I, that's not it. And I don't want to believe in what you want to believe in. You believe in 18 gods? That's what you believe in. I hope you have a great day still. I, I hope you're blessed. I hope I, I wish the best for you still. Believe in whatever you want to believe in. Have fun. Have fun. All right. Well, <laughs> it is the final round. It is time to decide which one out of these two ladies, Balloon, are you going to pop? Pop one, bro. Just get it over with. Okay. Why did we end up popping hers? That question is crazy. Is she looking through my soul? <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Look, she's looking like, what does he mean? Oh! I know that's right. It's cute. Honestly, um... I love your answers. I love your eye contact. Mm -hmm. You actually had me thinking over here for real. So you challenged me in a way. Oh, my questions. Yes, you like that my was questions. outstanding for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I love people who can challenge me. Yeah. You know, because that doesn't happen often. Um, so that's pretty much it. You look great. You came. You look amazing. Okay. And you popped because? Just. He energy. liked the other woman better. He wanted that. He wanted the other. I, <laughs> I told y'all who he should pick. My I energy. felt like your energy was great, but. Uh, okay, yeah. I got that's you. where it's hard is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. Let me that's where it's hard at way. right now. Let me bring you on up here. Come on up. Come on up. All right. Any final questions between the two of you before we determine if this is a match? I do. Um, do you have children? I have no children. Okay. Uh, where do you live? In New Jersey. Okay. What about you? Okay. Well, do you have kids? I don't. Where do you live? I'm nomadic, so I work fully remote, and so I travel. Okay, where do you currently reside? I, right now, in Texas, but that's only for a couple more weeks. And um, then you'll be where? My next stop is Louisiana. On okay. the East Coast. Um, how do you feel about long distance? Um, I guess it would depend on the person. Mm. Okay. So that means you're open to it. Absolutely, and I travel, so she I can be, in your city. be where I, I want to be. You Ooh, know, and and, uh, and you might be where she want to be for sure. Hey, for sure. All right, all right, y'all. 
So, All right, is y'all. it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. And is it a yes for you for her? Yes. My dog got, got a match, bro. Everything worked out how I pulled the work out. Because you was on that last show with nobody there for you. You got your and match. you guys can go on up. Let's make some noise for them. Oh, <laughs> let me get out the way. Like. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> No, nah, don't get that fake ass smile. Y'all talking shit. Girl, what's his Instagram? Like. What's his Instagram, girl? All that fake ass smile. Nope, y'all down there. Look, girl, what's the Instagram? Girl, the, the camera's on us now. Oh, hey. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Fumble that man like that, cause he he got thirst traps on his Instagram. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Thomas. Thomas, how old are you? Thirty-two. And what do you do? Uh, I work for a clean energy company. Thirty-two. And what do you do? Uh, Look at this face. <laughs> I work for a clean energy company as a buyer, and I'm in the Army National Guard, and I am a bartender. Nice, well thank you for your service. Bartender. <laughs> and now, uh, what are some things like to do for fun? She don't like that, she don't like that bartender. Hit around woman, he out at nighttime. And security alert, and security alert, pop, 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 pop. Uh, you know, go play sports, watch video games. Go play sports, watch video games, what? That's pretty much it. Okay. <laughs> Simple guy. Yes. All right. And uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? I like that shirt, though. I ain't gonna lie. Um, they need to be kind. A woman of God. <laughs> Y'all be mean out there, huh? Um, I prefer somebody who is going to be understanding mm -hmm. and actually have a conversation with someone. You know, I think you should always look to understand the person you're with rather than, you know, have some fairy tale in your head. Okay. Mm. Got it. Now what are some of your deal breakers? Um, they need to be clean. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, and they need to be understanding. Mm. Most importantly. Okay. Um, and other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. Got it. All right. So we did get two pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Why y'all pop? Okay. If we can start with your name and age. Hi Thomas. My name is Candy and I'm 29. Nice to meet you. And Candy, why did you end up popping your balloon? So initially, um, I'm not a fan of the earrings, um, but I, earring? you know, wanted to give it a, an opportunity to hear more about what you had to say. And I think for me, it was the video games. I'm what not, earring? Like big on guys playing video games. So yeah, okay. that was okay. it for me. <laughs> All right, now Thomas, is Candy someone that's your type? Oh, absolutely. But I mean, somebody who's doesn't like my earrings or my style, I mean, I really can't do nothing for her. Okay. All right. <laughs> now we did get one over here. Damn. Okay, and then we'll go back to those. Oh, your we... name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Can we see the earring? Balloon. Hi, my name's Kendra. I'm 29. I popped my balloon just because you look great, attractive. I appreciate how you came here and gave effort today, but I'm just... Damn, you got these long-ass clown shoes on. You got these long-ass homie don't play that song. Shit. Not a woman of God, so I want to make sure that you find your match in every way. So I don't think it's me. Got it. No, she's someone that's physically your type. I know you said woman of God was something up there, but oh no, she's definitely my type. But at the same time, I Thank mean, you. you under you understand like I understand. So I appreciate your honesty. I appreciate you. Okay. Thank you. And then let's go back to our other two. You name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hey, I'm Serena, I'm 29, and um, I popped my balloon because of the video game comment as well. I was waiting for you to elaborate a little bit more when she did speak on the video games, whether uh, you play them a lot or not, but I don't prefer for my man to play video games either way. I don't know why women tweak about the video game shit, because if you think about it, if, the nigga, if he owned the game, he home. You know what I'm saying? You can have somebody that's on the game, or you can say, oh, or somebody, I, I love bars. I love hanging out with the homies. I love guys' nights. I love, you know what I'm saying, poker with the homies. He's out the house. He home, fam. He inside the house. Figure out you a little hobby or something you like doing, knitting or whatever, reading books. Sit right over there on the other side of the room and vibe out. Yeah. Okay. So. Got it. And, uh, and being on the game saved you a lot of money. A lot of nights I ain't go out because I was just in the house chilling on the game. Saving buku bucks. Shit, the game, my gaming channel, 
at the at the peak with me gaming, at the peak, I think my gaming channel brought like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't a lot. It brought me like five, six thousand dollars a month in. 12, 24, 36, 48. That's 60K a year. Just from playing video games. And that's not that's just on the like the 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 the, the money money. I ain't talking about the donations and shit like that. So was, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was making that money on and staying my ass home and saving money. Like, y'all crazy, man. So are video games like do you play them very often? And that's just a gaming channel. In or is it every now and then? Uh no. I mean, uh kinda came out here extremely hungry. So <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's kind of the reason that, you know, it kind of came out just as short. But it, no, I mean, again, it's plenty of other things that just kind of came to my mind when that happened. So, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. But again, you are extremely beautiful. Thank you. And I do like your hair. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then we did get another pop. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Layla Elise. I'm 29. Um, I popped my balloon. Well, for starters, I really love your top. I love your outfit and your face is beautiful. You're very handsome. But I I really can't do a dingly so earring. Why'd you pop? Like it's a deal breaker. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Your and Ain't no wrong with that earring, man. Where where would you want it? Where where are your earrings, brother? And then you said yes, you said something like you seemed like you were very stubborn on that when someone else said it. So they're coming for that earring. Oh no. Um <laughs> I understand. You know, some you know, different strokes for different folks, but mm -hmm. um, you know, if an earring is what turns you off about somebody, that kind of shows me that it's not not much that you're looking for. So it's fine. Facts. <laughs> okay, you let one earring. Oh no, I don't do no dangly earrings. Mm -mm, that's that's uh, what, what what what? I ain't even gonna say the term, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. They try to they try to uh. I ain't even say it. Y'all know it. Y'all know what they be calling guys that wear dangling earrings and all this shit. They call them this, but y'all know what that word really stand for and what y'all really trying to call them in. And then, so now, y'all, let's fuck, let's get into it. I'm not going to keep my, uh, uh, censoring myself. They think that they think the dangling earring is, is sassy. I don't like that. The, the dangling earring that I don't like no man wearing a dangling That's sassy. Sassy is, they try to use, they try to call you sassy and another way of calling you gay. Ain't nothing wrong with being gay. You gay, more power to you, live your life, live your truth. But them trying to call you that is trying to say, oh, you sassy, oh, you gay. What's wrong with being gay? So now they're trying to, now it turns into a, 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 a phobic slur. That's all it is. They breaking that shit down. It's almost even like how dudes used to say, no, mo. But now they had to say, pause. Cause that they 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 started getting fined and in trouble for saying that you ain't allowed to say that no more. So now they were just trying to say, now they just say pause. You know what I'm saying? Movies in the '90s, American Pie used to use the F word. You know what I'm saying? Not F U C K, but F A. You know what I'm saying? Just 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 unit. They used to say that. You know what I'm saying? That was, you know, that that's what was happening in movies, and it was it was it was it wasn't no controversy. But now it's controversy. You know what I'm saying? It's just time. But I don't like how y'all be trying to hide them slurs like that. Don't hide them slurs. Say that, say that, say that phobic shit that you really want to say. Man, got a dangly earring. Oh, you got a dangly earring. Oh, Pendel, this really emotion. This really getting to you. You ranting on this one. You must wear dangly earrings. And do. And do. <laughs> the big thing about this right now is they lost the last guy. That was the it guy for this episode. And I don't even know if somebody coming next, but I'm letting you know that was the it guy for this episode. And that goes to show you, it ain't five of them that's coming out the back. It's one out of five. You put two or three episodes together, it's, it's two out of 15. It's not a lot of them. Everybody fighting over their top 10% of men. Good luck. Can I ask a question? Go ahead. Like what inspired you to, to get it? The earring? Um, we got an earring conversation? Yeah. Like, we got an earring how segment. Much looking for it, so it's fine. Okay. Can I ask a question? Go ahead. Like, what inspired you to to get it? Um, well, I have two necklaces of angels on my chest. Um, one is for my child that didn't make it. The other one is for my daughter that did. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. So, I, uh, I don't be sorry now. The feather kind of represents just the uh, angel wings that I wear. Now, he got one on for the child that didn't make it. He got one on for the child that did. Y'all don't know what it represents, but 
smoked his ass over it. Now you looking crazy. Now you looking crazy. <laughs> Trying to tell you, boy. Pretty much it. Now, um, is she someone that's your type? Oh, absolutely. R.I.P. to that man, child that ain't make it to, man. Blessings. I hope you're healing from that. I, I do like the dress. I don't like the bottom portion, which is, I guess it's a flare. My but wrinkles. other than... Damn, what you doing on them knees? What you do, BMX? X Games? Cycling? Look like a pedal. You know, your foot slip off that pedal and it eat your shin up. Them dogs look nice, though. The back of them heels thick. Yes, but again, you look beautiful. Thank you. Way. Thank you. So. All right. so we do have uh, two balloons left unpopped. Right, go pop Let's them go ahead and ask these ladies a question. See if any of them are your match. All right. Um, can you tell me what your ambition is? Mm. Okay. Let's start here with your name and age, and what's your ambition? My ambition. Oh, I'm name sorry. and age. <laughs> I'm Tanisha. I'm 29. My ambition is to live the dream, and that is to basically own a house and. About to pop? Live the dream. Yeah. Cooked. Fucking cooked, man. This is the most cooked ass shit ever, man. <sighs> own a house and. Yeah. <laughs> okay. On the house and um. Popper balloon. I'm sorry. Popper balloon. No, you're good. Oh, yeah. That's your yeah. If that's your if that's your, that's my dream. Okay. That's the, that's the dream. That's the dream. Yeah. Let's go to our next lady. Just to yeah. put that in perspective, you know what I'm saying? Everybody want that American dream, quote unquote. But in actuality, you don't never own no house, bro. It ain't like it used to be back in the day. Back in the day. Back in the day, you don't own no house. You could buy the house, pay the house off. Let you miss that property tax. They gonna put a lien and take all your shit. I don't care if the house is paid off. I got a I got a neighbor that's dealing with that shit right now. They're grown. They're all their kids are grown. They're, of course the neighbors are grown, but their kids are grown and their kids do not want to live in Florida. They're from like Europe or some shit. The kids do not want to live in Florida. They don't know what to do with their home. It, it's too big. They need to downsize, but their children don't even want the home. They they want to give the home to their children for their children to have like a family in it. No, neither kid wants the home, but the home is paid off. But guess what? If they stop paying that property tax or they, they don't pay their homeowner's insurance, they cooked. We don't own the land no more. It ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? You used to be able to back in the day, wait, this is your shit. This is your family. You can leave it for somebody else. It don't work like that. Now they probably bought that house 25, 30 years ago, and it was 150K. Now that house, damn near a million dollars. So when something happened to them, which we all getting up out of here some, sometimes, when something happened to them and they go on, them kids ain't doing nothing but selling that house and splitting that down the middle. 500K for you, 500K for you. That's it. Your name and age and the answer to his question. My name is Nai Monet and I'm 26 and my ambition is to open up a spa. I'm in the beauty and wellness industry and I love to make people bestie. feel beautiful. That's ultimately my goal and my ambition. Okay. Right. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Ladies, any questions for him? Where is he from? Let's, let's start here. We'll be back. Sorry. Did you say you had kids? I have a daughter. You have a daughter? Okay. Sorry. She's ready to pop anyway. Okay. She was already are... ready to pop. She's already ready to pop. Deal breaker. Yeah, I'm okay. sorry. Got it. So prior to that, um, is he someone that is your type? Absolutely. I think that he is really well spoken and he dresses nice, so that's a plus. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. And now, is she someone that's your type? Yes, but I'm be honest with you, uh, a house is pretty low on the list of <laughs> things, you know. But uh, I guess the American dream is whatever you make it. So. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Got it. Let's go down over here. You had a question for him. I've worked with kids. How old are your kids, or how old is your, your daughter? Child? Man, you got one daughter. Why y'all not paying attention? Uh, she's two. She's two. Oh, okay, that's a little fresh. That would be different for me. Um, hmm. That ain't a little fresh. That's fresh. What is your comment on family life? Why do you choose to be single and not with your family that you made a family with? If 
you don't mind me great, asking. Great question. That's not a stretch. Great question. That ain't no stress. Curiosity. We oh. could talk about that's not a uh, you answer the question. A man's gonna answer the question. He's not gonna pop your balloon or stray away. That's a great question. Why you ain't with your baby mama, bro? What happened between y'all? Some other people might be like, "That's too much." Why you worry about my pants? Watch him answer this shit. Made a family with. If you don't mind me asking, that's not a stretch. It's not. Just out of curiosity. Let him answer the question. Talk behind closed doors. No, I understand. Um, mainly because. Um, you're raising a child, no matter how, you know, much you want to be with that person. Mm. If you guys are not compatible, all it's going to do is make you both angry and it's going to mm. affect the child. So I'd rather be with somebody that I love and I'm happy with mm. so I can reflect on my child rather than be with someone just to hold up some sort of standard that the world puts on us. Well, why you knocked it down and went raw dog and then had that baby? If you, you ain't know that before you had a baby? A lot of times, a, a, a baby going to complicate things. A lot of times, people think a baby going to fix some shit. No, 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 no. But you should have knew that already before you had the baby. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, kind of make her into a piece of shit. That's understandable because I'm oh, a foster shit. parent. I'm not a biological parent. Like I said, I've worked with the kids. i worked with kids before, and I do. Um, but like I said, I'm a foster parent, so I can understand that because I know personally me. If I have a child, I'm allergic to latex. Okay, so if I have a child with somebody, I have a conversation before fuck? I lay down with anybody. Man, they got them, they got them lambskins in there. They got them lambskins. They got that special lube in there for you too. You open that condom up, it's just like you open some, a, a powder packet. <gasps> they got them in there for you. The only thing you getting raw dog, you ain't slick. But Coming here all fertile and hot, hot and ready. Child with, you know what I'm saying? So it's like that's a big responsibility. There's some people in the world that I would make a father, but I would not make a husband. That doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? I, you understand what I'm I saying? Mean, you get, get what, what you're I'm saying? saying? I definitely get okay. what you're saying. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that balloon. Hopefully we can talk about that. Hopefully. Okay. Okay. She think you ready to match? We're good. Any further questions? He out of there. He out of there. I see it in his eyes. Get out of there, fam. Where are you from? I don't think. I'm from Michigan. You from but Michigan? But I've been here for a while. Where are you from? Indiana. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you know what it's like to live in the snow? Sadly, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's go on up to the front. Get up out of there, fam. I see your body language. You better get up out of there. Hey, come on up. Come on up. Come on. Why are you looking at Sean? Get up here, girl. <laughs> no, I'll be standing here. <laughs> All right. So are there any final questions before we determine if this is a match? Hmm. I don't have any. Maybe he has some. You have any? Oh, yeah. I actually did have that. Good. <laughs> Put your mic up. Yeah, I did have a question. Mm -hmm. Um. So tell me, how you feel about dating somebody with kids? That would definitely be something new to me. I know in the past I dated somebody who was a, I don't want to call him a self-proclaimed stepfather, but he was a stepfather to someone else's kids. And it didn't really bother me. Like I said, I'm a foster parent. And even I have friends who have kids, and I take them in as, their, as if they're my own. Like, I'll babysit them. I'll watch them. I'll help out financially because, you know, I don't have any biological children. So I am a empath. I am a giver. But I know my limits, okay? You got to know your limits. Um, that would be something new to me. Um, I don't think I necessarily dated someone who had kids that I knew of. You know, so that would be something different. Like I said, I work with kids. I love kids. Um, sure. You're open to it. I, this is something new to me because before I'd be Are like, you mm, open I would to not it? date yes nobody no, with kids. Like I have said you that more to me because I'm just like, you know, scientifically, you know, if you have kids with somebody, like the woman is still, y'all still messing with each other. Like that's how it goes, how it seems to have gone, you know, with the culture and how things are today in today's society. But I would be open to it if it's like Shorty mature and, you know, we have conversations and if there's boundaries, then I would be open Bounding to it. Bounding over. Is, you know, some type of co-parenting arrangements and agreements. Because I don't play with my help. I'm going to have to see that my chart too. All right, girl. <laughs> wow. Okay, so you look like you're thinking real hard. What's Pop going through your mind? Fan. Just some of the things that she said. Okay. Um, and I appreciate your willingness and openness, and I really do. And I think that's beautiful that anybody who would be willing to have a foster child, to be 100% honest with you, if I'm able to have another child, who, which is a son, I would love to adopt a child because, you know, I think everybody deserves a parent. Hmm. So, um, yeah. Okay. Well, is it going to be a yes for you for him? 
Yes. Okay. And is it a yes for you for her? No. No. <laughs> um, I knew it. Why are you taking so long? <laughs> Why are you even taking so long? <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. Hey. For you for her? No. Okay. Um, um, and it's a <laughs> we all knew that, man. Very honest and very straightforward reason. <laughs> and I appreciate that. I really do. And it's a really straightforward reason. Um, during our whole conversation, it was more about I'm okay with this and I'm okay with that and I'm okay with this. And it kind of seemed more of a, a selfish desire mm -hmm. than a... How so when I'm uh -oh. being open and I just said that I never really dated somebody that had their own kids. All right, let's wrap it up. About the, I'm Elaborate really, on that so I can understand. Of course, of I want to have a better understanding. All right, let somebody talk. So it's not about a, hey, I'm <laughs> mm -hmm. open to dating somebody with kids and I'm mm -hmm. more open about that. It's more of a, hey, this is what I'm comfortable with. This mm -hmm. is what I've seen. This is how I've... Percep you know, perception-wise or anything. Never seen it before. Seen it before. Experience, new so experience. Not all open to it anymore. Exactly. And mm -hmm. if it's that easy to be not open to it, mm -hmm. you were never open to it in the first place. Okay. 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 All right. Well, have you head on back. Thank you. Okay. Well, that is all the balloons popped. We do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. I'll take the mic. <laughs> thank you. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. I just had, and it's almost, it's almost over. I just had to show that you told one more time, man. We just had to get a good little look -see. I'm trying to figure out if I can get them toes at the right angle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. Hi. They about to pop on, buddy. Don't do it. Hello, like that. welcome in. I'll have you hold that. Oh yeah, you cook. You came out on here looking like an extra from coming to America. What's thank your you, name? You. Look at how she looking. Damn, this is it, huh? This is it. Yep. Y'all missed y'all opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the reality, man. My name is Leron. Laron, how old are you? I'm 35. And what do you do? Well, what do I do? Boy, I ain't get a haircut. Uh, there's a lot. He got a dangly earrings. They about to get you up out of there, fam. You got them different world Thanks. glasses I'm a on. Fashion designer, audio engineer. Fashion designer. What do I do? Uh, there's a lot of things. I'm okay. a fashion designer, audio engineer, chef, most importantly, and currently working on real estate. Okay, very cool. Cool. They sprayed that bitch up, didn't they? <laughs> they smoked the place. Now, uh, what are some things that you like to do for fun? Uh, some things I like to do for fun. Uh, I'm very adventurous, so I like to go out um, hiking, sports, anything outdoors. Mm. Okay. And now, what are some of your uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Mm. Some things I look for a woman: uh, honesty, communication, um, good energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. That's all and I need. I'm simple. I'm a simple man. Yes. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, some of my deal breakers, lack of communication, obviously. Mm. Um, attitude. Uh, Y'all angry out there, huh? And that's really the two final ones. Yeah, that's all I, That's all that comes to it. All right. Damn. So, we did get a few pop balloons. Mm -hmm. Let's go on over there, see why these are popping. Damn. Damn. Let's start with your name and age. Hi, I'm Layla Elise. I'm 29. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Okay, Layla Elise, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, are the those earring. your real eyes? <laughs> okay. Damn, that bitch came on with color contacts. <laughs> he got cooked. Adrian, you didn't go down like that, huh? What do you think this shit is, 2002? That boy got color contacts in. Hey, shout out to my dog. I ain't gonna name drop, but she be wearing the color contacts. But she be talking about they prescription. I don't care if you put the prescription in them color contacts. Take them shits out. I'm tired of seeing them. <laughs> Where's my solution? <laughs> Arlette, why you laughing so hard? <laughs> Arlette ain't shit. Um, are those your real eyes? <laughs> okay. No. 
<laughs> Look at Arlette. Arlette, you're the problem. You let a man out here with color contacts. No, my contacts match my shirt. Versace, Versace. Oh, these are not my real eyes. Okay. Um, it's just, I think the physical attraction, the style, mm -hmm. the dangly earring. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's all. I'm sorry. Damn, her hands fun. ashy, the pants need lotion. The boy got the coat shoes on. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. It's fine. <laughs> and now, is she someone that's your type? Yeah, she's a beautiful lady, for sure. Thank you. I appreciate it. But as that. far as my type goes, I would have to say no. Okay. But you are beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go to our next lady over here. What about your type? Age. Hey, I'm Serena. I'm 29. How are you doing, Serena? I'm fine. And Serena, why did you end up popping your balloon? I ended up popping because of the contacts. Mm. I'm not a big fan of men wearing color contacts at all. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, All them right. hoes ain't even brown. Them hoes gray or blue or some shit. <laughs> what you think you is, man? Oh, shit. And now, is Serena someone that's your type? No. Okay, and why not? Honestly, it's the hair for me. Her you don't like beautiful. the locks, so you just don't like the style? I just don't like the style. The locks are beautiful. It is up. It, beautiful, though. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It is up, but it gives you a good <laughs> circumference of her head. Because if you take... Let me show y'all what I, what I already did to myself mentally. I took myself and put it over top the locks just to see what kind of head shape she got. She got a little cranium on her now. She got that's what I that's what I, I did this off rip and before I even before I even say something. I said, damn, she got a little head on her with it up like that. You know what I'm saying? But I like the style and I like the locks. He tweaking. Go to our next lady okay. over here. Your name and age. Hi, my name is Candy. I'm 29. Hi, Candy. How you doing? I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> and Candy, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just ditto some of the things that the ladies have already said. I think it's the contacts, um, the earring, and yeah, those. I think just overall style. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. I can respect that. That's fine. <laughs> like I said, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. That's fine. No worries. No. All right. Now, is uh, Candy someone that's your type? I like Candy. She's cute. Aww. Thank you. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Thank you. That's what's up. Let's go to our next lady. Your name and age. I'm Tanisha. I'm 29. Okay. How you doing? Tanisha, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just some of the things that the, the lady said as well. Mm. Um, just not my style and not my type, okay. unfortunately. Okay. Thank you. Same thing. Is she someone that's your type? I mean, she's beautiful, but I would have to pass as well. Okay. Is there anything specific that? No, there's no specifics. You know, it's just not my, it's just not my type. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. But you are beautiful though. Don't get Thank it twisted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Kendra. I'm 29. I actually love the contacts. I love the creativity that's like up my alley. It's more just like, for me at this age, too many too much passion in different directions. I think at this point, like I'm ready to hone in on what our purpose is as like a relationship. Mm -hmm. And I wanna be able to like understand what you love and your passions and everything. And if you're kind of headed a hundred miles an hour in eight different directions, sometimes so am I, so it's gonna get real disorganized. Okay. So I can respect just more, that. I can respect that. More direction. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah, you did mention like eight different careers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you usually always like branch off and no, different No, those things? are just things that I do that I have under my belt. I don't do all of them at the same time. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> I got to be ver I got to be open, right? You know, right. I got to let you know what's up. I got to let you know what I do and what I can't do. And those are the things I can't do. And that's all it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now is Kendra someone that's your yeah, type? Kendra's beautiful. I love Kendra. She's Thank great. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right. Let's go on to our last lady here. Your name and age fan, and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Naimo Nay, I'm 26. I couldn't really hear much of what he was saying over there, so that was another factor with speaking up, or maybe it's the mic. Um, I really wasn't too sure about what you were saying, so what is it that you do? What do I do? Yes, what we're saying over there, yes. Yeah. Can you hear me I now? Is this yes, fine? I can okay. hear you just fine. I'm a fashion designer. Okay. I do audio, I video do production, cool. and I'm a chef as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what is your purpose? What is your direction? My purpose right now is really cooking that's okay. my thing that's what i like to do i please people without talking to them that's my way of working through this world right now i can dig it i can mm. see him on a friendship level mm. Mm. okay got mm. it so he's 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 not your type you see him just as friend okay friendship level for sure he yeah. seems like a cool person i would i would agree with that for sure for sure mm -hmm. definitely Okay. All right. Cool. I don't Thank think you. any of us are his type, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, that's just my yeah. She, she talk a lot. Opinion, but yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Mm. <laughs> Let's head on back. <laughs> all right. Well, that is all the balloons popped, unfortunately, but we do thank you for coming on. Of Let's go ahead and get. Appreciate y'all rocking with me, man. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Turn your notifications on. If you made it to the premiere, make sure you smash that like button before you hit, hit out and turn your notifications on so you don't miss the premiere. Appreciate all y'all, man. Real talk, real talk. Shout out to all my members. They're on the screen right now. If you want to become a member, all you got to do is hit that join button. You know what I'm saying? You already see them. They're sticking out in the chat. I answer all their comments. They're getting early access to videos, and they're giving back to the channel. So I appreciate everything y'all do. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. Check out my uh, episode five of My Pop the Balloon of Fine Love right now. That's up. It's on the screen, linked in the description, and is pinned in the comment section. All right? So I appreciate y'all. Appreciate it all, man. And, and continue to send me pop the balloons and 20 V1s and stuff y'all want me to react to. Follow me on Instagram, at T Pendel. All links are in the description. All links are in the description. Stop messing with that thumb. You didn't chip your, your, uh, your fingernail. All right, so there it is. Follow me on the gram, baby. Just drop some new pics and all that good stuff. Blessings.